Hello, everybody. I'm about ready to get started. Hopefully, everybody's doing well today. Let's chat a little bit. Um, I mean, I guess we'll see what the B time is with the quests. But I think overall, I'm willing to hunt basically anything tonight. So if there's any special requests, welcome, Tiggy. Welcome, Remote Battery. I think I'm willing to do some hunts. I prefer not to go into Purple Caves. <laughs> that will be one of the few ones where I'm like, I would rather we spend our time elsewhere. I don't mind hiding, hunting for Cycle Wand in other ways, though. Oh, it's Heaven Striker o'clock? Nice. So if you want chat, we could do some episode 4. Now the question is, do you want to do green ID, red ID? What's chat feeling for episode 4? I feel like the moment we go to red, we'll get Dorf on a Claire, and the moment we stick to green, we won't get Dorf on a Claire. Or... I feel like it's the catch. It's the catch twenty-two. No matter what I choose, it doesn't really matter. So sad. So sad. Either green or red. We'll try a few green, then we'll try a few red. How's that sound? I feel like that's the, the most fair thing I could do. I gotta switch my characters, though. <clears throat> Just for clarity. Um... Yeah, I guess I can hit level 200 today. I guess. I'll be a force green ID, so chat doesn't have to worry about anything. kind of annoying holding off multiple characters at 200. I'm just gonna push him there. Honestly, I thought I was gonna hold it and then do like a big thing for it, but honestly, it just leads to me just not having a character, so it just kind of annoys me. I also feel like no matter what I do, I'm not happy with it. If I could, I would have locked his experience a while ago. Thank you, Grim Troop, for the follow. Hope you're doing well. Is anybody else that would like to hop in? We have two players here. One is Hellcleave, one is Tiggy. Thank you, Fuzzamir, for the follow. Hope you're also doing well today. Hmm. Just in for the boss, maybe. I don't think I need any of these. Did I put away my magical piece, or did I forget? I think I forgot. Damn. Oh well. At least I have Fire Scepter. Good enough. Though I probably want to get a uh, Gafoe Merge. I don't have to have perfect damage, but at least I need that. Put Tiggy back on the watch stream. I always wonder why that never shows up on the stream. Like, I can see it in Twitch chat. It says streak. But on the on the stream, it's like, nah, Tiggy didn't do anything. <laughs> so I'm assuming that's just the two of us. In addition. Which be weird sometimes. Did you want to hop in remote? Or anybody else that happens to be listening? <laughs> I just figure we won't want to wait too long since it is beat related. I'm willing to wait a couple minutes, but that's about it. Order inventory, just make sure I have my fluids close enough. I don't see any movement towards this. Assuming remote doesn't want to go in. My activity feed just detected Tiggy, by the way. Uh, I guess we could wait two minutes. That should be fun. Yeah, take a small break. <clears throat> we'll get started. I guess I could restock my fluids.
anything fun in the weapon shop? Nope. Yeah, I wouldn't mind a cannon rouge. Being one on one wouldn't hurt, I guess, if I'm gonna make more rangers and casts. I basically had like one shy of having all the V101s I needed. With like complete characters. But I was like super not in a rush. Is that Tiki with the Heaven Punisher emote? I was only half paying attention. I saw Blue ID and then Gun. Assuming it was that. This might as well as emote while I'm waiting. Stomp and Hell Cleave will appear. Well, on the plus side, I don't need to swap ones for uh, Rafoe. This, in some ways, is convenient. Do we seriously get Del Rappy? Beg chat not to speak Del Rappy. I want that XP. There we go. Nice kill. Should chip out the zoos pretty heavily. Posty. Mm -mm -mm -mm. it up a little what spell we're using. Actually, I should not have got Foey there. I should have refoed. Full mistake, but that's okay. Photon Crystal. <laughs> I'm just abandoning that heavenly body on the floor, I'm not gonna lie. They're like, nah, all good. I'm gonna say, wow, remote's already 197. <laughs> Congratulations, remote. Hope you've been enjoying your Hue cast. This will set up for the next wave. The way all they have to do is kill the birds. And I'm gonna run away from here. Team over here a little more to avoid the door farm. If you get hit, it's your fault. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say, it's not on me at that point. <laughs> there we go, I could chip a wolf of them out almost. Hmm. Is there a luck material? It is. I do find it funny that there's you cast life, best life, yeah. I'm not gonna lie, I was like... Unsure how much of an accuracy issue it would be playing Hugh Cast, because I know they're you no know, not the greatest in terms of accuracy. But it's surprising how like a lot of just really common 50 hits are accurate enough that they're just totally broken anyway. It's like, you know, coming from an outside perspective, having not played the Hugh Cast, I was like, oh man, he's gonna be like 20 under, like Hugh Neural, and you know, all these other things, and he's like way less than the Hugh Casile. And then you get like your first 40 or 50 hit and you're like, oh, this character is just actually completely busted. His only downside gone. Like, oh, okay. What a character. Chat. Do you think we'll see in the next 27 Dorfons? 
Dwarf on a Claire. We're gonna give three attempts at green ID. Although, if I get double Conjured, I'm gonna be very sad. I'm hoping I don't. Nice and simple. Here, um, goodbye all the enemies. That will protect me from the Astarx. I'll chip everything else out. Goodbye, wall of enemies. Right back to Gapoe stacking. There we go. So by the time the Buddhas move, they're going to take over 1500 damage. Making it very easy snipings for the group. Speaking of which... Like then I'm like slightly off center, so the Astarx has to turn to hit me. It makes me happy. We're definitely going to slow them up a little here. Good enough. Once they kill the zoo, it should just basically be over. Might as well spam freeze. So much luck material. <laughs> Happy music plays as no dwarf on a Claire shows up. Seems appropriate. One day, chat. We will see dwarf on a Claire. Face tank for a little bit. Doesn't really matter. I don't need to stack on this wave, I just need to stack on the next one. <clears throat> there we go, I should chip out the Yowies. Although I should probably walk forward a little more once the game gives me control. There we go. We are not stopping our Gapoe stacks now. Not while Zoo is here. Look at that damage. Makes their life so much easier. 2,000 just gone. Oh, please move forward. There we go. Hello, Del Rappi. There are two Del Rappis, no Dorf on a Claire. I feel like the game is actually toying with us. <laughs> where, where is the rare Dorf on? Are you going to give us Marissa double A and Pazuzu before we see Dorf on again? I feel like we're actively being taunted. Ridiculous. Wars and Raptors uh, and Raptors only, pretty much. Oh, I can't target that, Marissa. Another heavenly body. Welcome, Teddy the Bull. Hope you're doing well. Let's try Zeus. Mm -mm. Oh, speaking of which, I should be stacking. My bad. Remember it eventually. Should be good here. Do some quick little menu techniques. I guess I can grant you. Congrats on the gold badge, help please. Also, congrats on the 180. I'm gonna say, now you just need infinity more red rings. I think this is a scenario where I just refoing. Oh, 
fine still, I think. Oof. We'll get there eventually. Minus six, hope you're doing well. Oh, nothing dropped from the Rappi. This is unfortunate. Just some trimates. Just stop the zoos from doing anything. And I guess I'll just rip we spam the middle because it's going detonator. Freeze trap. Anyway, back to spam. Oh, there's one satellite lizard way out of my range. It's unfortunate. Nice try, Marissa. Double lays. And single lays. Center myself a little better so that way they walk into more fireballs. Should save a lot of time. Yep, there we go. Slowly chip out the zoo, make the zoo easy for them to kill. Use exactly all of my TP. There you go. How, how often does that happen? You hit literally zero. Yeah, yeah, Chan needs some buffs. I guess. I definitely prefer free or not free trap. I prefer confused trap in single player. Freeze is still decent. Just as long as they all get trapped. It is funny watching them hit each other. Especially with weaker team comps. Although I'm just noticing now our XP per second is approaching 420 by itself before the boss battle. So team is making this run phenomenally stupid fast. Those Rappies must be frozen. I'm like, how else are they not dead already? Goodbye, Marissa. It's by the time you turn around, you're already dead. Nice try, though. Good luck time. And then we just have to worry about the Goron in the zoo in the corner. Get a frame perfect cast. Oh, attack of the Barbarian. Nice. Well, I like this version of it. Gist up exactly all my TP again. Almost. Red ring regen it. Oh, uh, indeed. I am not even remotely close. Let's buff the team real quick. I gotta go slightly to the side. Hoping for not conjure you. <gasps> I shouldn't have said anything. Well, I guess I could get my, like, fourth Centurion ability in this event? Question mark. Oh, come on. I'm so dead, by the way. There are just too many spinners. Uh, now I have a chance of doing something. Oh. Andrew's... That's right, I have to use ice here. That's ultra annoying. I'm not set up for that. Right, let's go revive Hellcleave. Or Hellcleave. Oops, somebody got smacked during the cutscene. I mean, I'll just basically heal spam for whoever's going up there. Oh, Hellcleave is running. Run, Hellcleave, run! So we'll leave uh, Remote down here. I'll heal Remote. 
Percy heals. Never mind, already done. I was gonna say, I don't... I would rather we have three people up here, but it's fine if we just have two, I guess. I don't think the final core needs that many. I'm gonna try to face tank this for Hulk Leave. There we go. <laughs> Tried to give Hulk Leave a chance. I took a bullet. Alright, I took another bullet for Hulk Leave. <laughs> oh my gosh, that does so much damage to me. This fight is annoying. Oh, we almost killed it. That's kind of insane. Goodbye, country. I almost body blocked the missiles with my face. I forgot to Galwind again. I really should bring that here. It's actually super good. Oh, nice. We all got hit by something off screen. Neat. Yeah, look, look, chat. Oh, look at the little bells jiggling. Yeah. There we go. We're dancing to the music. <laughs> Such a dumb cutscene glitch. Oh, well. Well. I guess if I only play two more, I won't level. I guess I'm fine with that. We'll do two more green, and then I'm giving up on green ID. A Centurion. Make two more green, then we'll do some red. And Storfana Claire is apparently extinct. I'm gonna declare it dead and gone. And <laughs> we'll see it in the next two runs. And we'll just do Cannon Rouge, same quest. So that way we get some interesting drops. I figure at least go for a couple Galatines. But knowing knowing my luck, it's gonna be double double conjure you next. We're gonna wave our finger at green ID. I'm trying to think, were there any red ID characters I was trying to level? Plays Dumpling again. Haven't played a her in a while. Although, before I do that, I would prefer to get my magical beast back, which requires me to think about who has one. Somebody has it that shouldn't have it. Oops. It should still be fun. As long as I walk with the fireball, they won't get spooked. I'll check my character reader later. I know my Fomoral had one for a while. I have two floating. I just have to decide who to take it from. Okay, we'll willingly face tank for the team here. This is fine. I'm gonna stop casting now. Hopefully the fireball goes away. Perfect. That's where I wanted it to stop.
bad. Not bad. I think this will be the first time I've ever gotten a weapon sphere. Or, excuse me, photon sphere from uh, the events. Aside from the one year where just hitting a threshold and killing X enemy because it gives you one. I might have gotten my first one from that. I can't remember. I know that it was activated one year, but I don't remember if I was... It was, I think, literally the year I started playing. Whether or not I actually qualified. Because I, like, barely got into ultimate at the time. But team is way too far forward. Hopefully chat's been getting some decent hunts near the end of the PSO event. to level ult. Nice. Can't help me with a few characters. I have some characters to potentially play in the future. I have to decide if I want to make an orange ID character or not. I haven't decided what seven IDs I should do to complete my characters. Because I'm going to redo page eight. I don't know if it'll be all forces though or not. It might not be. Because honestly, the only force I don't have is Phonium in Sky. I don't really want to make like another Fomar. They're expensive enough, I don't need to go further with that. Wow, that damage dealt on him was kind of bonkers. I misread how much I had by a digit. Never mind. I'm hitting 200 in this quest. For some reason, I read that is when we entered the quest is uh, 150,000, but it is not quite that <laughs> off by a digit. I mean, not 150,000, uh, 1.5 mil, <clears throat> but I was 150,000. Yeah, we're definitely leveling this quest. Like I'm gonna quit mid quest. These fireballs are gonna clean them out. Get out of here. Uh, I'm not even gonna make it to the boss room. Before I hit 200. I don't even think I'm gonna clear this upcoming room without leveling. Oh well. I 
this means I'll probably switch to Ramar for the next run. Give him a little more XP. Still pew pew laser. Hopefully reminding me that there's things I need to pick up. Probably Yashminikovs if I remember our other conversation. Level 200. Goodbye, Marissa. <laughs> I was gonna say, I'm probably one of the few people I am not excited to see that. I'm just like, uh... Now grinding with this character feels more tedious. I'm not even getting XP as a consolation. I'll switch characters. Oh well. Debuff time. Humans, females. Well, at least I'll still get some of that bonus, I guess. Yeah, see, now now that ID doesn't make as much sense. I called him Nidra because he originally was a red Fomar, or yeah, a red Fomar. And that meant that he just made all my Nidras. Like, if you hear that out loud, you're like, oh, that's why he went with the red outfit for a green ID character. And then I changed him. Since I thought green ID was better. And it kind of was. Kind of was. Although, honestly, I could have left him red. I guess in theory, if I wanted to have a green Phonumen, I could, but then I would, like, probably never play the Fomar. That might be the only Phonumen idea I don't have then. A little bit of, uh, orange and green. I think the green idea looks better on the red outfit. Oh, I usually make the outfit match the ID, always. That's how I make characters. It's not how chat makes the characters. But it is what it is. Get out of here, Zoo. Zoo's already dead. I don't know why I bothered. Time to set up for the Goron Detonators. Photon draw. Hmm. Slow down the zoo significantly. Damn, I'm not used to how fast chat kills that. I, I'm like, I'm getting ready to assist and I'm like, no. Our DPS is actually so high, I don't need to do it. Let's focus on these waves. Goodbye, Marissa. Should I take it like one step forward? Small mistake on my part. I should have been here. Oh well. them down very significantly. Bonk. Uh, I don't have a mono mate.
That could always stacks roughly in the center of the room. Mostly just need to be in the right position for Mercis. And if I slow down Goron detonators too, that's fine. Yeah, I'm gonna consider this character retired. Pretty much don't expect me to play this character again. Oh no. Get another link being posted. So many bots, chat. I got excited that that could have been a V101. But alas. Uh, let's not die. Hey Chad, you like you like that I'm walking around at 26 HP? I somehow dodged that. I feel happy about that. I feel less happy about that. Say one debuff, I just walk away. It's already over. I said I didn't lose that many tri fluids. Guess that's okay. I swear if it's ice again, I'm gonna get so annoyed. Please be fire so I don't have to swap. Okay, good. Galatine chance. I might as well as wear the Rabarna merch here, because I don't have, like, a Foey merch. There's no real downside to what I did. That was so fast. That was actually insane how fast that was. Okay, I did my job. <laughs> I Zalord, I Zapped. Try to top people's HP off before I assist. Oh, the disco music. Or, not disco, club music. I did like this place in the remake. I am getting hard trolled by these spinners. I'll go this way. Ah, oh, I got the glitch. Oh, hit it, hit it, hit it! No! Rip. So close. Yeah, it already got popped unevenly. So close. Might be able to hit both pieces there. That would save some time. If not, I'll stay here. No. Unfortunate. I was gonna say, in my defense, I was not the one that popped it. I can stay up there. I got this. I have one job. Jeez, I've been bullied hard by Tornado. There we go. Yeah, another chance of Galatine for the team. Sadly, I do not have the Jiggle Bells. Anyway, retired. <laughs> I guess it doesn't matter about Magical Peace, except for when I go to play the other character. I'll do a quick look up later to see which one I want to remove. Say by the lack of excitement, I'm assuming nobody got Galatine. Also, what happened to my XP per second? Oh, I guess because I capped out, it broke. That's kind of unfortunate. <laughs> so I didn't get to see how well we were doing comparatively. That kind of sucks about the XP tracker. I guess it doesn't expect you to hit max level mid run. Also, what happens to the songs? There we go.
curiosity. Where am I? I'm at 98 power materials and 93 HP. Keep in mind, chat, I put away two sets of like 70 already. So we could definitely make a lot of new characters. Oh. Uh, yeah, I guess I can hold items. I did free up some slots. Nice. Thank you. That'll help. None of my rangers will probably need it. I think that's an upgrade for my Q-Pass. I think it only has a 20% machine. Because, you know, Q-Cast needs more damage. And in the quest... I'll switch briefly to play green ID, then we'll play some red. Yeah, goodbye, Nidra. Basically being shuttered forever. There's other characters I could play. I mean, if I'm feeling brave, I could bring Red ID Hugh Casile here, but it doesn't make sense in Pew Pew Laser Run. I do like Red ID, or I do like Hugh Casile in this area, but it, it depends on the quest. Yeah, he basically just got caged. <laughs> He's not coming back for a while. Oops, somebody's slowly building up all Atrocity 1, but it's definitely too late. It's above 1100, finally. Oh, they got a Lava Cannon. Nice. I am surprised I typed in my password correctly. We talked about this last time. I was like, man, I haven't... I should probably update the password. I finally remembered what it was, I think, a stream ago. After after having not typed it in for, like, three years. Like, uh... And then it's, like, from an account that's, like, more than six years old. I was like, uh... Let's see. Who has my magical piece? I don't need to participate right away. Also, wait, I have four magical pieces? I, n I never realized. I have way too many of those. True story. Today I learned, Chad, I have four magical pieces. I thought I had three. Hmm. And one of them's on Dumpling anyway, so that's kind of a win-win for me, so I don't need to actually character swap. Oh, I don't use password managers. I don't believe in that at all. Especially since... If the computer fails, I don't really want to associate it with something like that. Uh, it's literally on their site. It's called uh, Character Viewer or something like that. You can log in with your PSO account and check. I should probably get it. I think it's on my purple character that shouldn't have it. I missed you got the P1. I saw P1. That was about it. Oh, Google Bonker. Nice. Remote. I didn't see who it was, so I can't comment. Am I? Oh, I'm out of moons. Oops. That burned me out, apparently. I'll have to pick some up as I go along. <laughs> I love the gun just like rotating me in place repeatedly. Thanks, gun. here for sure. I 
I tried. I've only been doing it the whole event. Ooh. It's a big grind. Everybody wants to be the one that gets it during the event, and then it's like, in reality, just you don't get it most of the time. We're just getting very lucky. On the plus side, the price of Psycho 1 is probably going to go down. <laughs> I imagine many people are selling theirs. Just want to be done grinds, oh no. by Raffi's. It's all about supply and demand. defense I could bullied but the team wasn't near me <laughs> yeah for this room I like being in the center because it stops them right next to us yeah I guess I could remove her psycho one for now I don't know it doesn't really, let, really matter which one goes in my share bag. <laughs> I mean, I could just remove it from my high level character, to be honest. I'm meaning to grab AN. What's AN? Needle. That makes sense. Yeah, this will be the last green that we do. Then I'll just play red into it. Point it should level my white ID character more, but it's not a rush. They're already at a level where they feel pretty good. Like, I don't need them to be red ring level or anything. I'd rather enjoy their 150s or wherever they're at now. Yeah, definitely huge to be above 1100 ATP. It makes solo raw model stuff so much easier. Not to mention she's at near max damage for a PP laser. to find one moon atomizer. I did it. I am the victor. Look at my terrible Gafoe. Go forth, Ramar. Protect us. Oh, I landed demons. Finished. So sad. Mm -mm -mm. I'm guessing still no Eclairs. I mean, that that's a pretty safe bet, but welcome, Chris. Ooh. It's a Rage 1 remix. I did not target correctly.
Oh, I was willing to go out and get hit if that landed the demon. Fortunate. Don't worry, they'll shuffle myself to red ID. True. You watch, it'll be like quadruple Pazuzu, triple Dwarf on a Clear, Kondryu. It'll be like. Actually, you know what? It'll be St. Million because Kondryu is useful in Red ID. Like, absolute trolley. We'll get like. We'll also get like five Marissa double A's. We're gonna get like three in one wave for no reason. Ouch. I saw how Cleave get clotheslined by an enemy that was frozen. That was interesting. ESO things. This is such a good song. Remix did it justice. Already one of my favorites. Okay, I kind of wish it did the wom wom. I wish it vibrated more. That's the only part of the song I don't like, the remake. There you go, my awful Rebardo stun locking. I did it. <laughs> Raw more power. Oh boy. So I'm just gonna charge arm them because it literally does like seven times the amount of damage Heaven Striker does. I'm not messing around with them. Hope you're doing well, Chris. Hopefully you got some rest. No rest yet, but a day has passed for you. Have you not gone to sleep? Mm -mm -mm. Alright, this dude needs to get off me. Insomnia is fun. Do you think it's medication related? I mean, it's unusual to stay up so late in general. There's like having trouble falling asleep in. I haven't gone to sleep in days. These out of the way. but my intended target. That was so sad. I mean, I guess demons at least proc. That was definitely not the intent. It, like, it hit him three times, and it hit all the others. So sad. Man, see, this is where charge arm is important. Like, listen. Lightning damage, not good enough. We just need to go pew pew for Vulcans. There we go. Uh, this should be fine. Like the up close camera. Exactly. Yeah, 
Like, that also does more damage than my laser shots. I'd prefer to use a uh, Yashmanikov. In fact, I could have given him the Yashmanikov. Oh well. We're only playing him for one playthrough anyway. He'll be in a good position for the Goron Detonators. I think we're starting to go into the shocking, shocking amount of runs completed with no interesting rares. This feels kind of sad, I'm not gonna lie. So we have, we have killed, at least on stream, close to 200 Dorfons. None of them were Dorfon Eclair at any point. I think that even includes the IDs on ultimate that weren't going to give us anything. Like, we just have not seen it. You have to think about it this way. Every three clears of this quest is 27. We did a Berserker Baton. So just between today, we've, we've done over 80. I've not seen one still. We've seen, like, three Del Rappies in the same time span. I haven't seen a Puzuzu. We saw him versus a double A. So sad. I got a photon crystal. I got the consolation prize. Also, that crystal color. Be 101. Well, complain about it, then we'll get rewarded apparently. It works every time, chat. I didn't see if that was a good roll on a. Nah, it's a crappy roll on the armor. That's unfortunate. There you go, Hulkley. You have one less V101. If we get the Galatine. It'll be one of our final Galatine attempts of the event. We did get one during the event, but it was pretty terrible. Like, it's... It shouldn't be hard to beat just the Tedden native. Like, one would hope. One would really hope. <laughs> right? Like, just... Maybe. I'm just gonna start walking to the boss. Yeah, it's kind of like when we picked up the Cannon Rouge, where we don't have one with hit, and then we only have like 20 A Beast. Like, this in theory should not be hard to get a better one than the ones we have, but it just isn't happening. So we'll do our final little Cannon Rouge wrap up here, I think, <clears throat> by switching over to um, Dumpling, who haven't played in the event yet. Yeah. Super unfortunate. Oh, let's go for the laser attack first. Interesting. Almost timed it correctly. You know, the double hit from that was obnoxious. Oh, I'm so dead. Oh my gosh, the stack spinners are so deadly to Ramar. Holy. I might mag blast him if he hits me again. I'm mad blasting. Actually, now I can't. Never mind, disregard. It's definitely the Mr. X theme from Streets of Rage. Oh, I wasn't sure if he was gonna hit, so I, I delayed the mag blast. Damn. Wanted to break the cutscene. I'm glad we can still do it. It just seems more annoying than it should be.
I'm gonna shave my head. <laughs> yeah, the raw moral squad is here. Oh well. We'll do three of these. Try to get some Cannon Rouge. Well, I guess we got Hellcleave an item. So we'll, we'll count that towards helping Hellcleave out. <laughs> oh no, Dumpling can almost use Red Ring. Can you imagine, chat? Like, hold on. I'm ready to ATP. ATP everything. Be 101 unloved. We have a magical piece on us. We have everything we need to basically bully. Surprisingly, not at capped MST. I think 1750s are cap. side, chat will always be able to see over me to see the enemy. But congrats again, he'll cleave on 180. That's kind of like a sped up version of Streets of Rage 1's factory theme. Crap, these do a lot of damage to me. Up messing around. Time to go for spam. I think you're more than welcome to, Chris, if you want to do some red ID run. And we're tranking you. I'm gonna force you to get sleep. Oh damn, these saddle lizards are so dumb. Gee. He's like a drunk, it does kind of sound like it. Also, I didn't check my fluids, okay. I was like, I wasn't sure how much I should be panicking in this run. That's fine. I do have an adept on, so it shouldn't be the worst either way. I really should go back for power materials. So I think I'm actually capped at power material now. Hmm. Here, I try to make another hue cast. I mean, at this point, I freed up what a hue cast would want. I need to eventually get deep parts, but I can probably do that off stream unless the team needs it. Deep parts being the, the best armor for Rocket Seal for sure, because all she cares about is ATB. She needs all the help she can give with damage. It's not, technically not bad on Q cast, because you know, more damage is funny.
Yeah, Deep Hearts has like a very low level requirement. By the time you're an ultimate, you can wear it. I think it's like only 30 or something. It, it's not that high. 51, thank you. Yeah, it, it's free damage for sure. You can even put it on the raw cast as well if you just want more damage. Since all casts can wear it. Being bullied. Leave me alone. Yeah, it's 35 ATP, so it is kind of significant. Because you have to put it this way, if you have uh, weapon percentages, it's not only 35 ATP, but it's 35 ATP that reacts to weapon percentages. So if you have 100 native and you're fighting native, you actually have 70 ATP. That's how it works. So potentially being up 70 ATP is a lot. So it definitely rewards you for really strong gear. Even if you don't have good hit percentages, if you have good monster percents, uh, it very significantly scales. So if you're wondering why I do a lot of damage with the Rocket Seal, it's because I put a lot of stupid percent items on her. After this, it's going to be the, the Dorfon. I lured one of them close to me, but the other one still got tagged. That's unfortunate. I don't think she's picked any tickets up, right? Yeah, she hasn't. Oh, mates, take some money. The people's strength that actually care about it. <laughs> well, I'm here, I might as well do it. Mm -mm -mm. I wouldn't mind this character getting to 180. Not that I want Red Ring, I actually just want to cap MST. Plus, technically, her defense is still booty tier. 337 is really bad. Sadly, I don't think she can ever reach 400 defense from what I remember. I think we talked about it a long time ago, but I was saying the sweet spot for episode 4, from base armor's perspective, I found was about 400. When I started hitting around 400, I got bullied a lot less by crits, to the point where my HP naturally skilled with defense. But uh, obviously she can't hit that number, and her HP is terrible. But on the plus side, she builds meter, like, insanely fast. Still sounds like Streets of Rage 1. No one's surprised, there's still no door fun to clear. Oh, skull and gun. Oh, I see, it's like you have a little, uh, I was gonna say cadet cap, but you have the little cap your mom Marl has in the image, that's nice. Like you're reporting for duty. Ranger here. I was gonna say, now that I looked at it, I was like, oh. Because I, the last couple times I saw it, I only saw the blue ID. And the gun. <laughs> My eyes went to those first. Hey, Marissa, it's time to take some serious damage. Here, um... 
Man, Magical Piece is so strong. Thank you, Magical Piece. Yeah, if I had Psycho Wand, I would just literally bring Magical Piece Psycho Wand, and this is the run I would spam it in. I think how Cleve and I were talking a while back about when do you Psycho Wand. This is the exact run I would use Psycho Wand on. I'm tired of Episode 4 boss. Feeling this remix as much. I don't like how subdued the horns are in that. Unfortunate. The rest of it seems fine. Oh no, chat. Oh, chat pulled them weirdly. That I could definitely blame chat on. Somebody didn't pull them. Alright, let's grants. I'm gonna wave my finger. It punishes people that don't commit. And it punishes people for going in a straight line. Well, sometimes. Sometimes you could go a straight line if you're even... If you enter the door in a certain way, I think sometimes you don't need to move. Rizzleris? There you go. That missed their opportunity to make the Riz Kassil. So I should have moved forward. Oh well. That's on me. Just I can chip him out a little bit. Yeah, close enough. She's using a Centurion, that's funny. So I'm up to 47 meter, which is not bad for this quest. Also, I didn't get Gal Griffin Ring. Note to self, I will try to get it. She has Nidra, so it's like worth going for. Literally just fish for it if I don't get it in the boss room. Too remote for me. I tried to buff. There we go. Like I will, I will shift to you, and you will like it. <laughs> we'll spare fireballs. Not bad. Another discovery man found. Given that they haven't hit me, I think I'm in the right position. There's, you want to stand like kind of in between the two lines on the southern wall and eastern wall relative to our position. Oh no, Chad, it's Gabarda level 29. Quick, let me make room for it. Oh, oh darn, I, I, I can't. Guess I'm gonna leave it behind. What a shame. Don't mind the fact I have empty slots. Oh, I almost entered that room, that was almost bad. Hello, teleporting enemies. I'm getting bullied. Uh, you are immediately getting gelined. I want nothing to do with you. Hmm. I'm gonna have to move slightly further forward. I was gonna say, based off of how the enemies took damage there, I know how off my position is. Yeah, there we go. See, I'm perfectly between them. Now the Raffis won't run. If I'm dead center in the room, they will actually take the damage and die. So it's important I do that. Plus, it means the Mercis here can't hurt me at all either. So that position is super key as a force to know to do that. After that, it's just all Gafoe spam. 
And look at that, I'm still behind the Pyro Goron that was in front of me. It also cannot hit me. And then I should be in the center to hit the Goron waves here as well, which is really brutal. Yeah, see, I'm gonna kill most of them by myself at this point. Just because I have so many stack of OAs. That is like the perfect position. Being a perfect position, the Goron Detonator also has to spin to hit me. The team has a million seconds to go kill it. Look at that. What a thing of beauty. That mine material. Oh, this is the goofy song where it's like boo boo doo boo doo boo. I kind of remember this. Streets of Rage 2, I think. Great a little. Oh well, only heavenly ability this time. But sadly, I probably can still use this as an upgrade because there's characters that I want to get rid of the heavenly arms now that they're hitting the 180s. So I think I talked about it in one of my guides where it's just kind of like a niche item. It's just so that you can save on Heavenly Arms. Like, I'm not gonna actively, willingly farm it. Also, look at that boss kill. Damn, she doing 1k chat. She does not care. I believe in chat. I'm not gonna assist. So on the plus side, with her current setup, she was three-shotting the, the spinner. So she actually saves a decent amount of time there, to be honest. Now we just gotta swap her into Ice Staff. Let's see if I can force him to laser. He tornadoes, that's also fine. That wastes his time. You get a tornado. Oh, look at that perfect heal chat. Disgusting. <laughs> oh, I got it again! Oh my gosh, I'm on fire. Oh, the frame perfect heals chat. Ooh, fan me down. On fire. Rip out cleave. Oh well, my timing is thrown off reviving. Oh! Okay, we should be able to get it here. There we go. Grants will do it. <laughs> but on the plus side, I got the I got the frame perfect heal. I'm assuming it's frame perfect. Because you have to take damage and then the heal still needs to activate afterwards. So maybe there's like a very small window. Well, I got knocked down. Ah. Oh. Take that cutscene. I don't believe in you. Nice try, though. There we go. I photobombed his own cutscene. Look at that. Broke the cutscene. Hell yeah. That's all I'd live for, chat. Listen. Dumb game glitches. You know, I didn't get a Heavenly ability, but I did get a Photon Drop. I mean, they're, I guess, almost equivalent. I guess that works. What do you hit, Raygon? So sad. It's a lot of money. Wow, we, we exceeded 430 experience a second, so... That's, that's a lot. Hope Helcleave is bowing out. Thank you, Helcleave. to get Chris another Cannon Rouge and or Heaven Striker. Always useful to get. I think we got enough time for two more. We'll go to something else like TTF or whatever chat wants.
No worries, Ramon. I don't see people requesting. I would just assume. You could join and then... Yeah, I was gonna say, if you enter the game and then say it, that's fine. We gotta get people more vocal in the Twitch chat. That means I should level this quest. I didn't get Galgriffin Wing. Do I want to go back for it? Not really. When I do my setup next time. I'll take a hit here. I want to open my notepad. I have Red Ring and Excal for a uh, remote. I realize my notes were closed from before. <laughs> there we go, the Dark Flow being used. It is actually pretty good against the zoo. I did enjoy that in that particular scenario. Other Photondra. So if nothing else, the quest is uh, the runs so far have been rewarding me a lot of PDs. I could probably afford some extra gear. Because, I mean, I'm not even playing as much as, like, a lot of the other serious grinders are doing. Like, we did have the week where it was a lot of bonus games. That was, like, the closest to what we had in prior years. But, uh, yeah, beyond that, kind of crazy. Probably when the event is over, we might do just straight up 99 bronze badge gambles so I could just get rid of them in my share bank. Technically, if I get a three seals from that, that would actually be helpful to me. I, I do need, I think, two more. I'm gonna make another force. Goodbye, giant bird in the sky. We hardly knew thee. That was very brave of remote to walk towards where the door fun spawn as a low health remote battery. Interesting. Goodbye. <laughs> Embrace death. Need so many outsides between all the 13 mother guards and the other armors. I need to actually start farming more 13s. Might play some ID for that later. That's that's one I'm not in a rush for. Because I, I don't have the characters that would need them. I've been doing box checks and other quests, but you know, normally I, I would do a box check in pod, for example. Depending on the ID, it's possibly 13. A lot of HP. Yellow ID gets 13. Don't remember that. What drops 13 in the boxes? I know white ID is the common one. And half of the IDs, more or less, in episode 4 get it from boxes. Oh, ad slots. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. <laughs> so it's like, I'm like, I really don't remember that. I better go check that. Checks out. You know, I definitely put that Kofoe out, and it definitely, definitely cheated me on that. I'm not gonna lie. 6 MST, wow. There we go, I kept MST finally. A 
gambling with that tri-fluid. What's team doing in terms of buffs? I think he's jamming out to this one. This one is known as Shinobi Reverse Diggy, if you want to look it up later. Yeah, the, the remake of Streets of Rage has like, like really, really good music, which is not always expected. But definitely the people behind it were also talented. Re-envisioning the songs. Yeah, that song's going off. sense of doing it here. <laughs> Ooh, excuse me. Also, chat part protects me from Pyro Goron, I'm fine. Move more towards the center. Nice gold badge. I'm a little too far forward. I might get punished for this. Nope. Oh. Lucky. Oh, that Marissa's trolling. There we go. There we go. so don't take a million damage and die. Is that fine from the center of the room even without Glide Divine? I can debuff the room. Speaking of which. Ooh, he hopped away from- Really? The Versa didn't hit me there? Didn't try to leap at me? Interesting. I mean, I'll take it. I'm not going to complain about that. Listen, if it doesn't want to take the free hit on the photo world with no defense, see, that Pyro Goron hit me. That's how I know I'm out of position slightly. Mm -hmm. 
in. I think I've seen that name in the banners before. Another photon crystal. I'm gonna say I should probably try to get a Master Raven at some point. almost really bad. My fluid count looking. But oh, we still got five. Yeah, one adept is already pretty good for this quest. I have triple adept, I don't need to pick anything up. Except for tries. I'm roughly where I started in the quest, which is fine. Ooh, the teleport. I tried to freeze him. The effort was made. I should wound a lot of them. There we go. See, he leaped at me, but he'll also die if he does that. He needs to immediately attack for that to be a punish. I think I'm in the right position. Yes. Oh, that's good. Well, that Pyrogoron went way out of its way to hit me. I don't think it liked what I was doing. Soul Atomizer must be different on this character. It is, okay. I need to remember, it should be on my right side more often versus my left. Sometimes I do, like, up, right, down to just, like, heal, recover status and little TP. Probably just make that consistent across all the characters I have. Sometimes it's on the right, the, it's on the left side, which is awkward. Catches immediately running in without buffs. Brave. the right spot. Uh, not quite. I need to be slightly further forward. One step forward. There we go. Oh well. I'll eventually learn a visual cue for where to stand in this room, because I can't see it when I'm doing this. I need to be able to, like, look at this screen and go, mm hmm in case I get hit, for example, and get popped out of it. Not worth unpausing and stopping my text for it. There we go. See how I had to turn around to hit me? That's what I want to see. Beautiful positioning. Poor Gertibulu. PDs this run was. At this point, I think I have 99 power in the bank. So I could probably start pumping my rocket seals up. I forget how many they need offhand, but it's very easy to look up. I'm gonna move away from the group a little bit, or I'm gonna die. Oof, no Condrio. So we'll do one more, and then I assume the chat just wants to do towards the future. Try to rack up as many red rings as they want. Why did I do less damage? Oh, I didn't have fire scepter, but that checks out. <laughs> I was like, why did I do less damage with that? Never mind. Makes sense.
a couple more levels, I'll be at max MST regardless of what staff I'm using. That'll be nice. Excuse me, probably wand. I got a body block for the team. I tried. Ooh, almost, almost. I was gonna say, team, don't don't worry about healing. If if you can't survive after a 1k heal, you're not surviving. I got you. Did I seriously get knocked down while prepping for Resta? That's so rude. Please perish. Oh, I took a thousand damage from that? How dare you double hit me, you old cheater. Did you see that, chat? A thousand damage. It did more than laser. It's actually stupid. Shake your head, chat. What nonsense. If there's anything I wish they removed at PSO, it's getting double hit. It's such a dumb thing. Shaking my head. Fortunately, I had enough health to survive that. Shenanigans. Nice, still 430 plus XP a second. It's pretty good. Boom. Fifty hit scepter. Disappointing. Actually, was that money the boss dropped from it? It was, okay. I should probably pick up the money. Everything else. Eh. I guess I can go get my uh Galwind. Assuming she can use it. I never actually checked to see what the restrictions were on it. Yeah, I don't need Psychic Barrier, but let's drop that. So, I can't put away my bronze badges or silver badges. I th think I'm capped on materials. Yeah, so we, we can't put away any more power materials. Um... Oh, it only needs 800 MST to wield? That's kind of funny. I might just fish for invincibility in between areas. How's my tri-fluid situation looking at? By at least 4? Oh, I'm 3 and 10 dies. So that should be fine. So yeah, one more. Should just be able to finish it. And even if it wears off, it's not the end of the world. Solo the boss if I need to. ever closer to 200. There we go. We can say we went for Cannon Rouge today, Galatine, Heaven Striker, B101. Hmm. To practice with Galwind. HP. Ooh, that final one does a lot. Oh, I got the invincibility trigger. Nice. Working is intended, chat. Oh, oops. Dark flow. That wasn't too bad. I know it does, I think, 21% on the third shot. That laser beam, though. Nice. Finish this area. I'm going to be up and try fluid. Perfect. Paralysis, still. Yeah. 
that back on the floor where it belongs. Leave some diamates on the floor. Like the damage number didn't look right to me. Lots of bronze badges. Oh, the other one got it from all the way over there. That's kind of insane. Shenanigans were happening. That's all you need to know. Absolute shenanigans. Yeah, they like to do the Tokyo Drift. They'll look at you, look away, and they go, psych. Oh, I didn't mean to try fluid there. That was a waste. Stick sensitivity is still too high. To add more of a dead zone. Speaking of which, let's do that now. It's pretty close to where it should be. It's definitely much better than when I did it before. Also, it removed the stick sensitivity. Wait, it got rid of my dead zone. Why did it do that? What? Does it not save the options when you do this? That would explain so much. So apparently at some point it just removed my dead zone spot for some reason, even though I never touch it. Because remember I was complaining like three or four sessions ago that I kept getting spells I wasn't looking for? I just thought it was because I was tired yesterday, but I'm assuming it hasn't been working for at least a day. And then it happened again here, that's why I was like, it's, it's too weird to be a coincidence because I'm not feeling that tired. So yeah, the... So when the stick flicks back to neutral, if it even like partially goes past dead center, it was passing my uh, upper attacks. So that's why I got a double fluid there, even though I only pressed downwards. That's kind of annoying. So hopefully that saves it, because I don't know why it wouldn't. So I'll try closing the application. Ding uh... Let's see if I do... That's still too sensitive. That's a little better. Once I'm done with PSO, I'm going to close it out manually. Sorry about that. It's just weird when your controls undo themselves. That would explain some things. Not like I've had a crash or anything. I've only properly closed out the application. Unless it's something dumb, like it doesn't save the setting because I never changed the control. I only changed the sensitivity. For remote. Yeah, sorry about the run. So I'm not using his fireball as much as I should. You don't want the weird technicals. Yeah, the left stick doesn't bother me as much because my thumb is like always resting on it, but I'll, I'll flick it with my right thumb, or I might touch the stick slightly, like when I'm going between the right stick and the uh, buttons. So in that little lean that it does, I don't want it to trigger. Work both on draw. I'm averaging about 1 PD every run. Do a little more. There we go. 
almost done. Just get Rayman drop, but sadly no uh, stats of interest. Yeah, it's usually when I'm playing, I don't usually let the stick go to neutral. Like, I'm usually holding forward. Or I'm not looking to hit, like, the top of the stick. Or, like, a button at the top or something weird. When they battle, nice. Yeah, let's fix our synchro slightly. Question is, how many fluids do I have now? Oh, we're back up to four? We're good. Like the enemy glitching out on my screen, nothing I can do about that. Welcome, Nate. Hope you're doing well. Bye, satellite lizards. Reminds me, Chad. I'll probably be picking up the uh, DS Castlevania collection. I saw they made one change that would make me consider doing it over uh, emulation or like connections. They they finally updated the seals in Dawn of Sorrow, one of my least favorite mechanics in a Castlevania game. Oh, I'm too far forward. My bad. Yeah, they allow you to do button inputs now instead of needing to use the mouse. So it's more just button sequences rather than trying to draw like the ultra, ultra fidgety touch screen. Now speed shouldn't be an issue. So I don't have to physically draw my hand across the different ones. I just gotta slam in the button combo means not only is it faster, but I don't have to do the stupid thing where I have to free a hand up just to do that. thing I gel- Whoa, I'm getting bullied. Please get him off of me. Beg of you. I can't go fully stack if that happens. That was like straight bullying from Goron Detonator there. I need to be forward like one more step there. Goodbye, satellite lizards. Yeah, that way the Gorons will walk into this and I'll also chip out the zoo. It's important that I'm, like, not immediately where they spawn, just so that my fireballs can hit them as fast as possible. And the more centered I am, the more evenly I can damage the Satellite Lizards here. I actually did get a surprising amount of Photon Crystals. We went, like, basically a whole session without seeing a single one, despite playing Episode 4. We got, like, five in one day. That's kind of nice. I'm averaging like one tri fluid a room, like in terms of pickups. That's pretty huge for me. If the team walks away, I could just kill them. I missed the walk away though. Down here. Put them down. Oh, no free strap. There we go. Just delayed. I was gonna say. Like, wait a minute. Buy everything near me. Burn. 
might get punished for this. We'll see. Nope, not punished. Okay, we'll take that. I look like I'm in the right position. Yeah, I'm in the right position. Oh, no, no, no. Slightly too, slightly too far back. Yeah, I should have taken two steps forward. I was close to the right position. If I'm dead center, they usually don't hit me. Is what I'm looking to achieve there. See, now I'm dead center. That's where I wanted to be earlier. Hold on. That Goron detonator damage to me is insane. Can we talk about that? Do you like how I just did, like, half my health? Actually bonkers. Mm-mm-mm-mm-mm. -mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I think for the character that's going to be playing very hard mode, I think it just makes sense to put my HP materials as high as possible. Then I'll get knocked down. Uh, I think I need to be here. Yes. Yeah, you can tell I'm in the right spot because none of the Rappies run. And if I'm not in the right spot, the Rappies run. So there, there is actually, like, a reason for me to spend some time. I just want to be able to learn how to do it intuitively without looking at the map, but might be a thing I can only rely on the map. This is perfect positioning. He's not looking at me. That's what I want to see. Because it's very easy to be, like, just one step too far forward, so I have to be at a very specific spot every time. The fact that I'm getting it this consistently is kind of silly. <laughs> Honestly, I'm surprised I'm getting it so often, because I'm not using any visual cues. But I want to learn one. Hello, Goron Detonator. Good goodbye. Damn, this song is good. Wow, chat, no conjure use, F minus. Still got a little bit of beat time left. Be able to kill the boss. I'm gonna believe in chat on this one. I was in the cutscene. Means I went mostly the right way. Andy has forsaken us, yeah. It's on a vacation with Dorfan Eclair and uh, Hildator. Set to do not disturb. I mean, I'm gonna go this way unless you try to tornado me. I was gonna say, I'd rather take the shorter path. That was worth it. Maybe that's what you do. You just look for Tornado, and if you see Tornado, you go to the side. Otherwise, you just keep going. Oh, it's like a frame too slow. Like, I flicked the wrist, and it paused, but it was like just before the effect activated. So sad. Really? That's only hitting one side. What do you? Whoa! No! You didn't have even beat. <laughs> no! Oh, that's really out of sync. Um. Jeez. I'll try to do this. Wah! Wah, indeed. All right. I I buffed it as much as I could. Yeah, I saw, and I was like, no, you kept shooting that's anyway. Welcome, some random fox. Hope you're doing well. Oh, didn't hit. So sad. Ooh, that was a really good recovery. Hunter save. 
That could have been so bad. We could have been walking in this quest for like another two minutes. Okay, yeah, we'll take that. There we go. Rip even beat. Long live even beat. Hopefully you're doing well, Mikey. Thank you for the raid. Welcome, Raiders. Okay, so even beat is done. We are now done with this. <laughs> I was gonna say, I didn't even get the boss drop. It's not even that rare. Hun says, which reminds me, you need to get the ice staff. Got the storm and fire scepters. Yeah, ice is probably not used as often, but you need it for episode four boss. Like he says, doing well for the most part, thank you. Could feel my brain start to fizzle as someone to raid you since I've been never gotten to before. Hope you're all having fun. Well, thank you for the raid. What were you playing earlier? Okay. I think our mods are not here. Try to do a shout out. Find out in real time. They were last playing retro. Oh no, I learned nothing. some cash. I guess I could put away the magical piece. Definitely want to put away the adept. Oh, okay, so you are grinding some uh, PSO. Nice, nice. Focusing on my humor, though. Very hard to sell. To grind my MKB. Don't recall which... I'm assuming it's a mech gun. I would say for the most part, grinder, grinders are pretty easy to pick up. Oh, Monkey King bar, my bad. Yeah, I mean, that does a lot of damage. But I was kind of surprised, because I'm thinking MKB is... Yeah, I guess you traded for it. So I'm like, that, that's not a very hard mode drop. That's why I got confused. Nice, nice. Red Saber is not really useful for Humar. That's a phone roll only item. Um, hmm, who to play as? Hopefully you get some rest, Chris. Yeah, you should definitely check the guides out that we have for that if you're trying to figure out what to do. We have like literally a shorthand list. Like, I wouldn't even get Monkey King Bar before you're like, charge Vulcans and stuff like that. Grinders are very easy to get. I would not worry about grinders. I think we average no less than like 15 or 20 a quest. They're, they are so common. Uh, well, let, let's say nine, but a lot of them are triples, so it is effectively 15. Uh, let's see. I guess there should be an ID that can host TTF. Just which character? I guess I can level my Ramara. We were doing monthly multi-world. My three games for this month were Zelda 1. Nice. Final Fantasy 6. Nice. Mario, Mario Kart 64. Interesting. Well, hopefully you get some rest, Mikey. I guess I'm gonna host some white ID TTF. I'm assuming people will hop in. I think he's all ready to go. <laughs> Ooh, look at that forecast bonus. It's definitely the time of human females. Yeah, so here's an example where I have a heavenly arms. Would I benefit from swapping? 2 2 1. No, I don't think I do. Aw, oh, sorry to hear you've had a migraine. Please. Please. The 
this. Are you in hell, Clee? You want to do some uh, TTO? No worries, Ramo. <laughs> Hope you yes, I've been summoned. I think I, at least I can stun lock if I need to. I can provide buffs if I need to. Do I have enough MST for Cleo? Things I don't have memorized offhand. I do have a lot of MST. 898 is very high. I, it might need 900 though or something silly. Let's find out in real time because I have a Cleo. Chat, that is so sad. Big F in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> Too MST shy. It was Centurion. Actually, no, wait, hold on, hold on. Hold on. One of those many, many Centurions we picked up. I can upgrade my Heavenly to a Centurion and wield it. There we go. Which actually matters for my run, because I'm not capped in ATP luck or anything else. So that's actually kind of nice. Damage is fine. If I have to stun lock, it's not completely abysmal. Piggy <laughs> with the big hard eyes. Hopefully they die. Wait, did I not take the Cleo? What? Oh, Heaven Striker gives me MST too. Damn, never mind. Forgot. Well, better level to use it, I guess. See if this character earns her red ring. She has enough HP to survive falls, I think. Yeah, two Centurions definitely make up for bad stats. Yeah, I might need to swap out. I was gonna say, hell please. Do you happen to have a Ramaro mag? I would pay for one. I don't think I have a spare one in the bank. I have ones that are just generic. Fine. I do a stealth at the moment. Maybe. Yeah, sadly I only have a striker unit. All on equipment next time we're in here. I forgot this thing synchro is actually not totally garbage. room get XP. Wait, that didn't kill them. There we go. Give him a little tab. On the plus side, just some clearing some room. Curve laser hit me around the corner. Unfortunate. This will slowly go towards the DD.
there's sadly nothing for me dropped in the other room. Clip by that laser immediately. True story. We buff what we can, can it reach what we can. Yeah, that's my fireball button. We'll learn. It is not. I put it to that button. I don't know if I like that. I think it made sense to me at the time, but the more I play Force, the more I just want the buttons to be the same as the Force layout. On the plus side, Striker unit healing people doesn't really matter. Next area. to see if I have something similar. I don't think I have a 149 in the bank is the problem. I would recommend for Tiggy. We'll teach Tiggy how to do this roof. If you get trapped like that, it is white ID. The trick is to uh, use trap. Like you walk around the edges with confused trap, and they'll naturally block each other. Give me a second. I'm gonna change something on my controls before we proceed. Sorry about that. Let's proceed. Strip him out a little. Let's look over the Heaven Punisher here. It's it's so rare we do this room anymore. Go rebuff people. It looks like this room is basically done. Um, hmm. Sino gives Heaven Punisher on White ID. Technically, you could kill the Cannabin if you really want the white card. I don't really care though. game just pauses like this, like game please. Like thinking about where to spawn them. Wasn't too bad. to do that, but apparently she does. Nice. Okay, I think at this point, I, 
think I just go for the fast clear, right? It should focus me because I'm a ranger and it hates rangers. Speaking of which. Yeah, fa fast clear is really easy as a ranger in multiplayer. When the sorcerer actually pays attention to you, it's like, oof. It saves so much time. The Chaos Sorcerer, sorcerer has the handgun gold. We'll do it for Tiki. LD is just Rico's glasses, which I'm just curious. It's not really that interesting. Kind of a shame the drops are so weird on white ID. So I need to get 20 more MST. So if I had a V101, it would only be 5 off. Interesting. Ooh, she's just slightly too weak to one shot. Just doesn't have any dark percentage. Unfortunate. There's at least a damage range where it can. That's at least somewhat useful. Good help lead. I almost reached him in time. Fenner said no though. That time, that was fortunate. There we go. Killed everybody up. I'm going to switch it up so I have Foley at least. That'll help with chipping him out. There we go. Nice and simple. The two who cast stud stand judging everything. I'm not impressed. You could do better. Let's see. Two Kyrix, something like that. I check my bank real quick, then we'll start up a couple more runs. See, this is why we chat. 
disregard earlier requests. I have another wedding dress if I need it for later. Full of slicers. Probably put one of my share banks for now. I think I was making her hold some junk items. It's actually useful. Alright, so now I won't accidentally kill the team, and more importantly, my ATP is higher. Both of them are pretty equivalent in ATA. through that menu. No worries, remote. Would anybody like to hop in? Oh, I'll leave it like here. Oh, my inventory. Oh, Yashmanikov. Thank you, hopefully. Killing to the Talos is kind of annoying in TTF. Hopefully you have almost a 180. Let me know, chat. We have a free slot. You have one of the world's easiest carries. <laughs> Your gear does not matter. I'm gonna check items real quick, and then we'll move on. Right, Disca. Disappointing. Okay, so I should respect the invincibility now. Once this character gets closer to... I don't know, if I average 2 MST a level, I only really need 10 more levels and I can use Cleo. Not that far away. Okay, I'm assuming nobody else wants to hop in for TTF. We're, we're gonna give a little countdown and then I'm gonna proceed. So five, four, three, two, and one. We are go. Oh, Cleo climbing ever closer to 180. Making sure everybody's red ring level. Then they get rotated out. Good strat. Just need to give them red rings to accompany. Oh, no confused trap. Sadness. Oh, that was the end of the soundtrack? Uh, what to put on? Yeah. Hello, thing attacking me as I'm in the menu. How rude. I guess we'll listen to the full Shinobi soundtrack? Sorry about that, chat. I was expecting we had at least a few more songs. I was gonna do that during uh, Dragon Balls. I didn't realize the other song was only 40 seconds. I think he's happy. And up next is Shinobi 3. But then they only have one song from Actraiser? This list is so whack. <laughs> Wait a minute, this list is actually whack. What is that? Why include a song in its on a whole soundtrack? Why not just include the soundtrack? So let me get this straight. It's Streets of Rage 2, 3, Revenge of Shinobi, then Shinobi 3, and then Actraiser Fillmore Stage 1. What happened to the rest of the Actraiser? Disappointed in you, playlist. You had one job. Oh, that was a good one shot. I was gonna say, I, I don't even need to be there. I see its health bar is gone. I'm going to. And then only one song from Metrian Odyssey 2. What a weird. What a weird playlist. This playlist, like, makes no sense, chat. 
I'm gonna give this playlist a solid F. <laughs> it's just like, it's missing ga it's missing games, then it's only part of soundtracks. And not even like the parts that he worked on, because he did the entirety of the Razor soundtracks, so... Question mark. Where the rest of it go? Oh, Slime lives on for now. Rip slime dupes. Guess I could just clear this room. Let the chat do whatever they want. Hello, Mill Lily. Damn, its extra health actually stopped me from killing it. That was so sad. Oakley found a Jito. Congratulations, Oakley. Big sigh. Oakley not excited for a Jito. I'm, I'm assuming the long, long delay is the no. Gonna say help leave. If you just wanted to pawn it off for PDs, I will I will buy it off of you. I'll give you the immediate payback of PDs. You just have it, damn. Oof. I'm gonna heal because I think I'll die otherwise. Invincibility kind of sucks. So I'm gonna fireball twice, and then I'm gonna walk away and hopefully it pops the boxes. More or less. I'm gonna Zalore these. It's just free PDs, potentially. Weaken the Sinnoh. A couple pot shots of these. These don't fight back. I might as well just abuse them. Goodbye, Gil Chicks. I guess I can say we went for Heaven Striker again in the evening, question mark. Technically. You know what, that works. <laughs> I'm glad that hit. I wasn't sure. I was like, uh, can I fit through there? Can I hit it from that angle? Yes. This mag actually has even higher power, which is nice. I'll be able to contribute some damage. Again, at least being above 1100 means that I could do some stuff. 
I'm not like totally useless in boss fights. Although ironically, I think leveling the ATP there popped the screen one shot early. Not sure if that was worth it. Game please. How how in the world did it think it was aiming for that one? I saw it try to revert it to the right if you're wondering what was happening. Fighting it a little bit. Actual shenanigans. Uh, we're gonna have to find another playlist after this. I mean, we'll listen to Shinobi 3, but we, we could do better in terms of playlists. Strat. Um, and that's fast. <laughs> Just, it, it is so fast. Love it. Here, um, definitely easiest as Ranger. You'll help leave a little there just in case. Leave me alone. There we go. Nice foot on draw. Oh, I wonder if this means I can one shot the, uh, what are they called? The, uh, spinners now? Hmm. That would be a, an important threshold to hit. Because I, I was, like, low rolling, to, I think 297 or 298. Like, I barely need any more ATP to get the 300. Maybe five powers enough to get two damage? Maybe? Oh, it's one-shotting so far. Oh, 298 still there. Oh, I have 295. Ooh, my damage range must, must have been much worse than I realized. Rip diggy. Ouch. Damn, that's unfortunate. I my damage range seems to be a little better at least, but it's it needs way more than I thought. If I'm still doing 295 after another 10 ATP, that's not good. Yeah, like 309 is very high, 312 is very high. Walk in a little bit, get this allure. Get stuck behind the boss. there eventually. Rocket Seal's a 55 Dark Heaven Strike could still barely kill them. Really? Why is that? I don't remember having trouble with mine. Are you not using D parts or something? Ooh, barely got there. Because I, I, I could do it with like a 25. That's why I'm a little confused. Oh, but maybe it's Red Ring. Oh, yeah, maybe Red Ring plus the other thing puts it above. Oh, well, we'll get Hellcleave there. <laughs> then he doesn't need the, the 55 Dark. Oh, Last Swan. Last Swan's not bad. Also, I mentioned Zilber there. Keep buff going.
Almost got it sub 12 minutes. Not bad for three people. Next quest will level me up. Uh, I should probably feed it synchro. It would be nice if it gave me invincibility at some point. We have a free slot for anybody that wants to hop in. We'll wait just a little bit. Please let me know in the Twitch chat. Just doing some towards the future. Level 17 shifter, you could keep that <laughs> lady in the corner. Anything, so we'll move onwards. Mm -mm. Nice buffin. Nice. Oh, nice, that got confused trap. In which case. I need to do that. Get those free kills. Ooh, they almost beat each other to death. It was close. I was gonna say, the funny thing is I could shoot Tiggy Straps. I'm pretty sure I have Lieutenant Mantle. Yeah, I do. Or synchro, so I could actually take advantage against Worm Boss. Having some invincibility. Yeah, I'm gonna resort to ye old Wikipedia after this run. Figure out more use of Kosuhiro themes. The fact that they have a list of his OSTs and I don't see a single racing game on there. Tells me that this is not even remotely close to the soundtracks he's done. I think it's like Wagnum Racing or something. There's like six or so in the series. So if I don't see any in there, I know that this is not an accurate playlist. What do they even have in this playlist? Oh, just a lot of single songs. Well, they have Maximum Tune in there. That's one of them. Goodbye, boxes. about Nano Dragon, but I'm like, yeah, that's just gonna burn a healing item for me. I don't think that's worth it. Trip to game. I'll stay behind. Feel free to slime dupe or whatever. Soul is selling Charge Vulcan? That's unfortunate. 
could probably do a, a buy. I'm sure somebody would probably give one to you. Alright, that's too many fireballs. Got a little fireball happy. Yeah, hopefully you saying they have a ton. Most people usually, I would agree with Hokley, most people don't usually advertise things that are to one PD. But if they have a um, website portion, they might be using that for the big trade list. If that hit me, I was going to be so salty. You have no idea. With Hokley. Is that just like a really delayed freeze trap? What the heck was that? There's like no one near it, it just w only one froze. That's very goofy. Oh, don't hit me. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I was hoping it would die before it reached me. Oh well. Be buff time. Sad. I guess it stops us from getting punished if I pop it, but not ideal. There we go. Tiki mad, Tiki smash. I had a feeling the Lord plus Tiggy equals goodbye. Goodbye, cruel world to the sorcerer. Ooh, that scared me. Damn, that's consistent. Uh, I probably want that. Pretty much everything over here, actually. 
Probably made HP material. Stressful music, oh no. Oof, Zerk though. So strong. Take it as long as I don't die, it's all fine. Shinobi 3 Return of the Ninja Master. The Shinobi Master of Stealth and the Lethal Ninja Arts are back. Art. 292? What is the damage range on my attacks on this thing? Holy. That is that is some discrepancy. So I'm somewhere between 309 and 292. Kind of brutal. Actually, I don't need to heal off of that. Let's not do that. I was gonna say, definitely hard mode to engage when you have to double tap everything. There we go. Unfortunately, I'm a little too far up. I'll try my best. Actually, no, this is fine. There we go. I was climbing the ladder. I went normal heavy special, normal heavy special. One step at a time. The boss dies. Oh, out of range. Looks. Control. Oh. Damn. Oh. oh. I just got. I barely got my heal in. Okay, I should survive the slap. Wait, I'm just gonna walk forward and try to allure. That should be good. my Yashimina cobs if I need to, rip Tiki. Let's do a lot of damage. Damn. Don't really cycle without Tiki. Yashminikov is a nice option to select, so if they're out of range of Heaven Striker, I can just hover Yashminikov and shoot them full screen. Always useful to have those. Ideally, we'll have ones with, like, super dark. No worries, Diggy. Fully leveled up. We're still not capped ATP, so every level up still matters. my mag again. But sadly I did die earlier. I think. We'll fix the synchro. Almost back up to 20%. Slowly but surely it will rise up. We'll do a few more of these and then we'll switch what quest we're doing. I don't think tonight will be a super long stream or anything. We could go for at least another hour. Let me know, chat, if there's anybody that wants to hop in. Alright, we're looking it up, chat. Yuzo Kozo Hero. Kushiro, excuse me. Wikipedia. 
Category video game scored by him. Oh, it's not in order though. What in an order? I mean that helps, but you know, I need it in order. I didn't realize they did I didn't realize they did stuff all the way back in 1986. Huh. Interesting. Don't see anybody else hopping in. Yeah, the Wangan Midnight series. Yeah, that's what I was trying to think of earlier. Okay. I guess it's just the three of us again. That's a shame. I guess people are busy doing their own thing today. each other. Aw, oh, Vivian with it. I did want to go get those, but honestly, like, with I don't know why that was so hard to attain. I literally got like a million Rambling Maze and zero Vivians. Or essentially zeroed, I'd say. X Capcom and Wagnum Midnight series were the first games he did songs with lyrics. Interesting. Oh, I forgot he did the Shenmue soundtrack. But to be fair, I never played Shenmue. Oh, I walked out of the right spot. Boo. Position fail. something while I'm waiting. It just makes sense. Damn. I was like standing in the exact graphic of the monster. Like that though. How hard will I get trolled? <gasps> Got invincibility. Okay, no longer trolled. I'll spam heal for Tiggy. Survive, Tiggy.
some Beast Trap for Soho's. And I'm just gonna kill them with Charge Arm here if they're not gonna fight me. Uh oh, Tiggy's going back. Protect Tiggy. sound, but it wasn't. Luck material, nice. Our material in the next room, we'll have to find that. Let's see where it is. I'm using the charge shot. Oh, don't hit me, please. Thank you. Nice photon draw. Ooh, pd Oof. I did see that a moment ago. I wasn't sure what drop there. I was gonna say, there we go. See that? That that's why we gotta include shift on the the controls versus the the menu. Or would have canceled me there. Get my boss. Oh, I hate that that boss flickers. I'm really curious what year that started in. Was it like 2021 or something? So sad. Well, I want to get that started. Synchro, 27 Synchro, 31. I think I passed one of the thresholds for a percentage. Hopefully we should be seeing Talisius more often. Mm -hmm. Oh, Tiggy waited for me. Go for the, uh, the old juke strategy. And it really hates sorcerers. Or it hates rangers, I mean. I'm gonna refoe that, and sped that up a little bit. Sadly, just LNK combat has dropped for me so far. Hoping to see a PD. That's all I'm really hoping for at the moment. I think even a bronze badge, honestly. I'm gonna spam heal on myself for sure here. Definitely wanna gel in the.
There you go. <laughs> the longest lasting shifter there. Like how that was time? Look at that. I can even deband you here too. No fear of running out if I do it that late. Better to charge arm this. Actually surprisingly effective. I mean if I can't one shot, I might as well just charge arm to be honest. Just like shoot into a cluster like this. Not punished. <laughs> there you go. The bravery. It's like, yeah, there's spinners. I'm just gonna bring out shotgun. Don't worry about it. Why did it hit me again in the middle of the arena? That's unlucky. Man. I think I got cheated there. What? Yeah, did you see how that hit me? That was really weird. That should not have hit me. Normally it like rebounds halfway up the arena, but it like, it clipped me with like the last possible bit. Kind of unlucky. I must have been like steps away from not getting hit by that. Tiggy. No! Didn't reach Tiggy in time too far. Uh oh, this is gonna be it. This is gonna be one slow cycle. No Tiggy. Rip. Well, I'm gonna Zalore and then run towards Tiggy. Because that's all I can do. Actually went for the sacrifice there and it landed. Nice. Oh gosh, don't hit me. Don't hit me. No! <laughs> Tiki moved out of the way. Tiki's like, you're on your own. <laughs> Damn. I just got bodied. Holy. Oh, I'm ultra dead. GG. Rest in peace, me. There's a 0% chance of surviving that. Please don't target me. Thank you, hopefully. Welcome back, Calvisha. Maybe I can make chicken clip this. Oh, short cycle so brutal. Calvisham's having fun. Seriously, there were just like a crazy number of bots. I don't understand. Which has a big problem. I mean, do you see this many normally, Calvisham? I mean, I think I'm getting like, what? Four at this point? Almost a session? Kind of insane. I don't even think I have any bot accounts following me. Like, I've banned them all. <laughs> like, between you and I, I don't see any even in the chat. Actual madness. Oh wait. Oh, block one. Never mind. Yes, we're in three hours of stream, and we got basically three. Forty hit caliber. Disappointing. Only it rolled better. Is that it? If it had, if that had been like a, a fifty base, and it could have rolled up to forty dark, that would have been kind of sick. 30 native, 40 dark, 60 hit. 
that Dragon Boss is ultra dead. Oh well. What could have been? I have to be really close to capping materials again. How close am I? Oh, literally just capped it. Good instinct. Yeah, we'll do... We'll do one more, and then I want to mix it up. I can only grind TTF for so long. R, Dorothy? Hope you're doing well, Calvisha. I'll probably end up playing the uh, Castlevania collection, by the way, Calvisha. Because it, it did look like there were actual changes to Dawn of Sorrow to make it a little less terrible. Like, it's still not going to be great. But I think I'm going to follow the video Jupiter Climb put out. Uh, talking about re souls recommended to farm. And those are going to be the only ones that I farm. Oh, oh, you weren't making a joke last time, Tiggy? I thought you were making a joke because I was playing Humar. Surrounded by forces. Oh. I'm so sorry, Tiggy. I do recall you bringing that up last time. Oh. Did you want to hop back in, Remote? Yeah, for me, the game just felt, like, really underwhelmingly weak. I felt weak pretty much past the first, like, four bosses of the game. And it, I, it never recovered. So I, I really did not like the power balancing in it. So I could try actually farming souls because I got like almost zero. Yeah, I don't see anybody else. Let's continue. Yeah, I, I hated the glyphs. But basically, Calvisham for every point of the circle is just a button press. That's actually not that bad. Like, you still have to learn it, but it's not... You're not worrying about using a mouse or any of that other jank. That's, like, the closest I think I would find to making that acceptable and keeping it in the game. Alright, uh, we're just gonna clean up this wave. Screw this wave. Goodbye. I'm so sorry, Tiggy. You did the three forces, one humor, and that wasn't a joke from last time. Sounds abysmal. I don't know if I ever really lost due to just not doing the glyph right, honestly, in my in the playthrough on stream. I don't think that ever happened. It made it take way longer, and it was annoying. Yeah, like, I knew how to do the katana cancels. Did you know how to do the katana cancels? That was, like, the only way the last half of the game was even remotely tolerable for me. But honestly, like, the fact that you have to get, like, rare, like, 1 in 8 or, like, 1, one in 20 drop chance souls, and then you have to have a specific weapon just to maybe get an upgrade, that felt terrible. I definitely do not like the upgrade system in that game. Like, that will not change. I don't think my opinion there will differ very much. But I think outside of farming, like, two or three specific souls... Like, I managed to get Guillotiner, and that made the run not completely trash. That was definitely one of the ones I'm gonna try to pick up again. Uh, the other one I got was the, the Hog with the Punch. Oh, you Spear? Ew. No wonder why you were dying to bosses. That explains a lot. Oh, I, I was doing rapid katana cancels. I was like, listen, I don't care if this thing has like medium strength. I'm doing the katana cancels. <laughs> I'm just like, I am I am not going to sit here and try not to damage stack or do some equivalency. No thank you. Yeah, I would highly recommend you look into katana cancels, Calvisham. It speeds up the gameplay ridiculously so. 
or um, if you're not going to do that, you should probably make an axe next time. Or uh, what's it called? Uh, nightmare. Called nightmare. No, paranoia. It's called paranoia. Because you just need axe armor plus something equals axe. Yeah. See, you're killing them, but you're also like the Dark Soul grinder that will sit there and just say like, I killed the boss, but it took me 15 minutes, and I'm like, I don't know. I, 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 I do not ever want to be in a situation where a boss takes that long. It sounds like you were in for a struggle. Like, if you were doing anything less than like 100 damage on like the final boss for swing, I can't imagine how long that took you. I have to take the, the long walk. There's a badge here. I just don't think that's worth the time. There, there was kind of like a threshold where I'm willing to grind if I could get it within like five minutes rather than do the boss battle without it. So we got, um, I think Killer Clown a couple times. I think I upgraded once the whole game, mostly because I just didn't know what souls were needed. Because again, it's just like, I'm not going to know how common certain things are first playthrough. Yeah, I definitely like the combat in Aria a lot more. No contest. It was just way easier to dash cancel things. There's only like a couple of things that were fun to dash cancel in Dawn. Like doing that with uh, Slaughter. That's what the pig thing was called. But yeah, like I, I can't imagine playing that game, Vanilla, to be honest with you. I still think it's one of the weakest ones. So I will, I will absolutely dump over that game's combat. It is definitely the one of the least fun to play. I think between everything being locked behind a grind, and now most weapons after like the first three areas are also a grind, it's like, nah, it sucks. I don't know how I'm going to feel about Ecclesia. I have a feeling I will not like it. I, that was one of the ones I just gave up on. Like, I beat Dawn of Sorrow, I did not beat Ecclesia. I think I got annoyed by the whole stamina me mechanic, because I just really hated it. I, I don't like stamina in video games. I'm like, nothing, nothing about this to me screams Castlevania, I don't like this. a fan of like the unions or again RNG souls so like it just has all the stuff I don't want I felt like portrait of ruin start to finish I never really needed to hunt any items to do well because all the good ones were at the shop anyway Like, unironically, Dart and Paper Airplane were just, like, super top tier for no reason. You can buy that in the shop, and then you can upgrade them in the shop without ever grinding XP if you really want to. I wasn't really a fan of the side quests in that, because that just felt like filler. But I, I don't feel any different than the filler in Ecclesia, so for me, I'm like, Ooh, it took my least favorite part from Portrait of Ruin, and... And they made it into a town in Ecclesia. Yeah. I I didn't quote-unquote grind the points, but I did make sure that I always use a sub-weapon before killing to get the upgrades. So I'll, I'll throw the sub-weapon once so it gets experience. You can have fun with the music. Because that was definitely the right play. Not doing that just means you lose out on a ton of damage. You make your game unnecessarily slow. Congratulations. You're denying yourself like literally 30, 40 damage a hit. Nice. 
And then, uh, I guess if you do the optional bosses, you also get the, uh, what is it, the Vampire Killer. So you already have a weapon for the final boss. So the way that game is structured, I never really had to get anything rare or bother unlocking most abilities. Which is more how I want to play the Castlevania. I just want to go from point to point, and then, like, if I want to get, like, a super upgrade, that's fine. But I want, like, the drops to actually be worth it inherently. And I feel like Dawn of Sorrow had that issue, and I feel like Ecclesia had a big issue with that, where I just did not feel rewarded at all for exploring. Because almost all the damaging things were locked behind uh, enemies. Like, later on, there's some puzzles that you could get some elements, but it's like, man... Because the fact that, like, the... what is it called? The, the Glyph Unions require specific element types. Like, if they just don't drop, you just do so much less damage compared to if you grind. It's like night and day. It's like, oh, did you do 100 in a Union Glyph? Cool, you could have been doing 900-something if you got this specific combo. So that kind of style of gameplay doesn't appeal to me. Also, it reminds me a little too much of Classic Vania. i am be real with you, I don't like Classic Vania. So, like, the, the really long corridors levels really suck. I don't think my opinion is going to change that at all. That is really boring to me. It's not even in a way where it's, like, creative with platforming either, which is what Classic Vania did, where you had to kind of, like, learn. It's almost like a puzzle as you go through. Instead, it's just like, uh, let's just have you walk through, like, five cemeteries and whatever, and then you just endlessly hold forward. And just hope the level ends. Needless to say, not, not a fan of pretty much any of the level design. I did see later if you get the true ending, you get into a more traditional castle, but... I don't know. Just everything up until that point just seems so... linear. Like, when I come off with the impression that uh, Castlevania 2 had more branching paths in that game, that's not a good sign. I'm gonna give it the hardest of hard callouts. Yeah, I think, to me, it has combined all my least favorite as aspects of Castlevania. I'll see if, now that I know how to do some tech with the game, if I have fun with it. But I know from a casual perspective, that was one of the games I actually straight up just put down. And not because of difficulty, I just didn't like it start to finish. The whole waiting for meter to come back and... Literally just endless trudges through hallways. Like, please no. <laughs> please don't wear hallways. It's like, go through long corridor, now just listen to plot! Congratulations, you unlocked another corridor! Like, man, this sucks. I mean, they get a little less linear as you go on, but man, the first, like, five or six levels are just super linear. Like, oh boy, you could go up or down here. That's your choice for the whole dungeon. Like, man... Naughty face. Definitely healing here. MB3 OST nice. Nice, nice. We're most of the way through it now. Still got like 10 minutes left. Yeah, I've, I, I have a feeling it's going to be a struggle for me when we get to Ecclesia. I remember not promising to do that game. I still remember that to this day. One of those games I said, like, I'll, I'll play for, like, three hours and see how I feel after that. Chip it out a little more. Oh, I'm ultra dead. GG. Uh, I'm gonna try not to go near Tiggy. I wanted to run that way, but I saw Tiggy's low on health, so I'm like, I'm just gonna kill Tiggy. So, yeah. I think more, more of my issues with Portrait of Ruin is just that the characters are not really that likable. And also, they say their names too often when you tag swap. But I like the concept of swapping between the characters. I just feel like Charlotte was really o underwhelming, unless you, like, 
went out of your way to hunt for stuff. And the game very, very clearly favored Jonathan. Like, no contest. He was the better character start to finish. Like, he even gets his own plot upgrade item. She doesn't get anything like that. So you're kind of stuck with, like, what is it called? Don Quixote for most of the game. Is the defense state still meaningless? I don't know what that means. Oh, do you mean stat? Um, I mean, it doesn't really do anything in most boss encounters, so not in boss fight. Most damage is set damage, like false wing is set damage, lasers don't care about defense. Spinners sometimes chew you up a little bit. See remote at the top there. Otherwise, it's like... Yeah, like, I, I turned voices off. They just got annoying, for sure. But, like, I like the tech in the game. I like doing, like, the slide cancels to move quick. Uh, we should be doing TTF. Unless I did the wrong episode or something. We'll do one last CTF. I'm willing to do one more for remote. Let's see, what else is remote looking for according to remote? Excals. Potentially could do some of those. Last boss one hit kill pissed me off. Oh, you got the X Cows? Nice. Honestly, Calvisham, I, he never got to trigger it against me. I don't know. I just. I, I, I'm just gonna say I was more comfortable with the game. I don't know what to tell you. I thought it was annoying to, like, shake it off, but I didn't think it was hard either to get rid of it. Like, if you had the vampire killer, it was, like, ultra free. So if you skipped it, I'd be like, oh, well. I had more damage for sure. I mean, I just played through the game standard. I just got Vampire Killer and then had Max. I mean, if you haven't been leveling up weapon ranks, maybe that's why we're giving stuff to Charlotte. But I, I don't know. That sounds like a you problem. <laughs> As I said before, I don't think I've ever died to that, even in casual play. But we'll see. I guess if I rush through on stream, maybe it'll happen. I beat the game and then I went back and finished the side quests. So I did, I did not complete all the side quests before fighting them. Oh, well, I mean, you're calling yourself out on that one, Calvisham. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> you're like, man, this mechanic really made me mad, but I refuse to get better stuff by just leveling as you play. I don't know, dude. I would recommend if you try it again, to just literally one-tap something with a weapon and then just kill them with normal attacks. That's all you have to do. It's really easy. You don't even lose... In fact, you go faster doing that. That's not even a time loss. Yeah, that boss... Uh, I want to learn the maniv for that boss, because there's a way to set it up so that the boss just goes in an infinite. But... I, I would have to study that a little more. Just like there's manipulations for Ecclesia to make Dracula do nothing. No, I know, it's a one-hit kill. I mean, just don't... Don't not do damage? I, I don't know what to tell you. I could kill these, I guess.
gear, because I feel like Portrait of Ruin, unlike Dawn of Sorrow, like, you can just level up as you go. I don't think I had to do anything special to feel, like, decently empowered. For Dawn of Sorrow, I felt it was literally luck if I would ever bother getting an upgrade, which felt terrible. Like, Portrait of Ruin, it was more in my control to get good equipment or get good weapon skills. And if I explored, I ended up with, like, a lot of supers. Not that I used a lot of them. Uh, so I just feel like playing through without like rushing straight to the boss and just going to every room in the castle, I mostly just got what I needed. Because I think I got two or three weapons to max level by the end. And then if you didn't do the trick where you just buy weapons you already have, that would also explain it. So like, you literally could have just taken like, nine copies of Paper Airplane and maxed it without grinding at all. So again, I feel that I'm gonna I'm gonna put it back on you. That's on you. <laughs> I know I did that to max one of mine. Oh, heavenly resist. I don't think it explains that mechanic like immediately, but it's very obvious if you purchase it and then look at your weapons what it does. Let's go through here. Cause I just ended up selling all my junk stuff, and it was like cool. I now have like a million weapons. Although, I remember reading a long time ago in a, a guide where it was recommending using the pie against uh, Richter. So I did unfortunately waste a lot of money leveling up the pie. And then I realized, oh, I like darts better. That made me a little sad. Paper Airplane also anti-aired him, which was amusing. Poor Richter. Yeah, the strategy guide for the game, uh, which I read, like, many years later, recommended that. I tried it, didn't like it. Yeah, as I said before, you're, you're more willing to tolerate, like, really slow boss clears, I've noticed. And I think that comes from a Dark Souls mentality. I would probably be screaming if I was doing your damage. Especially when, uh, especially Dawn of Sorrow, I felt like I was like actually in excruciating pain how slow the boss fights were going. Until I got my katana, then it was all good. It's like thank you katana for letting me do several hundred damage. Oh, we did get lucky because I got a uh, what's it called? Oh, what level grants is that? Hold on. Twenty-six. Uh, should probably pick that up. I did get lucky because I think I got the Conductor's ability, so I didn't bother with, uh... Was it Malakota or whatever it was in Dawn of Sorrow? I think next time I play, if I don't get the Conductor's ability, I'll just go for it. Yeah, see, I just don't find Grindfest fun. And, and as I said before, I, I, I've seen on stream before. I, I, would, I would go absolutely mad out of my mind if I was doing, like, that little damage. Like, yeah, I don't really want to be in 10-minute boss battles or even 8-minute boss battles. I want it to be 2 minutes max and we're done. Maybe not even a minute 30. It's like, I just want to steamroll them. And I felt Arya let me do that pretty, pretty succinctly throughout. I don't think any boss took more than a minute. And I feel like it had, like, really good uh, rewards for exploring, especially getting claim. Whereas, like, Dawn, as I said before, outside of, like, the first three areas, I felt like I got zero weapon upgrades. Like, I legitimately used the same weapon from, the f like, the first 20% of the game almost all the way to the last 80%. So, more than half the castle was one weapon, because it was just not dropping a weapon type that I would reasonably use. And then I ended up, I think, making an axe so I could do damage. Yeah. I don't think the games are meant to be hard, though, Calvisham. That's why I'm just kind of confused. Because I feel like <laughs> I'm reading your complaint, and it's mostly you're like, man, I made the game hard, and then the thing killed me because I didn't bother upgrading. I don't know. I just find that, of all things, I just find it kind of weird. I don't know. 
I feel like that's self-inflicted. Whereas Dawn of Sorrow, as I said before, I felt like almost all of that was out of my control. I think at one point I tried getting, what was it, the Skeleton Ape? And I couldn't get one in an hour? Like, that is, that is like, actual madness to me. I'm like, come on, I can't even go to the secret area because it doesn't draw. It's so sad. Like, there's just a certain point where I felt like things were just not in my control to get reasonable upgrades to the character. I mean, I think at one point we were trying to farm, what was it called? Uh, the stupid uh, Ukabok. And that took like 15 minutes or something. And I'm like, really? I'm not even going to use it. I just need it for the, uh, the door unlock. I don't know. Stuff like that just annoys me. out of here. Yeah, I, I, as I said before, I don't think it was really hard to avoid, to be honest with you, Calvisham. I, I mean, I think I just did it with basic Don Quixote. I don't even think I got the upgraded Don Quixote. As long as you put a melee book on her, it was pretty free. I just found it more t I found it more tedious because it would just add time for like swapping between them. That's where I got kind of annoyed. And then I wasn't sure if it made more sense to try to use like a triple skill, for example, or double skill, for example. So I was like trying to learn the mechanic on the spot was like, oh, I kind of wish there were other bosses that introduced it and not in the final fight. So that way I could prepare for it better. Which I do think is one of the problems in Portrait. I don't think a lot of the bosses are all that great. I'm not going to defend that game by any stretch when it comes to that. There were quite a few gimmicky bosses. There we go. Whipped out the shotgun. So yeah, I think just overall, I think between those three games, I probably still prefer the other ones. Like, I would even do Harmony again over that. Where damage stack is king. Although I did see that they were coming out with new uh, damage stack for Portrait of Ruin. Maybe that would make me like the game a bit more. Doing some cool tech. I don't remember if I ever came across the damage stack by accident or not. I have to see what weapons it was. Oh, damn. I was carrying my slow mo. Rip Helcleaves buff. Yeah, I'm a little sad they didn't fix or adjust the luck score, to be honest with you. That, that to me, is something I really wish they adjusted, but I understand why they didn't. Well, because they just literally don't know how to do it, to be honest with you. Damn, so close. So close. Yeah, the Dawn of Sorrow final boss was garbage. That was easily one of my least favorite boss fights. Like, they give you... Well, not they give you. It's random. It's random if they give you some of the things. But they do have souls in theory that counter the final boss. All I had was the uh, Conductor's ability, which was okay at dealing with them. So, like, I understood. Like, they had it clearly in mind that stuff like that was going to deal with them. But I just don't like... Oh. I really got PD'd. Wow. Wow. Wow, chat. We need a slow clap. <laughs> Actually getting trolled by this game right now. Holy. Look at that. Can't even pick it up. Terrible. Yeah. Actually terrible. I knew it wasn't it because the sound was wrong. Damn. 
actually trolled. The disappointment is immense. You know what, chat? I don't, I don't think I feel like going for like another hour. Let, let's just do two more TTFs, honestly. He's away for now. Got stuff I gotta do later anyway. Yeah, I don't mind minions and boss fights as long as there's like easy ways to deal with them and the boss simultaneously. So, like, if I have to switch between, like, an AoE and a single target, it's not, like, the end of the world. But when it's just, like, when it just pauses the fight where it's, like, oh, you have to kill these two advance, that, that's where I draw the personal line. I'm, like, really? I have to kill these four and then you'll let me do it? And then if I miss the cycle, we gotta go again? That I don't like. The frowny face. Yeah, let's do two more. And that'll be it for now. I'm not sure when they're ending the event, if it's gonna be Monday night, or if it'll be when it transitions over. Let's listen to some Yuzo Koso Hero. What the heck is Xanadu scenario? Let's find out, chat. What is this soundtrack? I've never heard of this. Yeah, like, I'm willing to, like, go out of my way and explore. I don't have to, like, rush the castle, but I just don't like it when things are locked behind luck. So a lot of the, the DS Castlevanias rub me the wrong way. Because, like, sometimes I'll get something within a couple minutes, and I'm like, oh, that wasn't too bad. And then other times I'm like, wow, I literally can't advance without the soul. The playthrough has come to a halt because you require me to get this, and there's no other alternate means of doing this. I'm like, well, this is trash. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like that at all. It's kind of like when I played through Dawn of Sorrow and we never got like any of the beginner souls, even though I went through the beginner area, killed like, I don't know, like 100, 200 zombies. So sad. Oh, Robolita is here. I was gonna say, we're Team R. Everybody's R. Hmm. Yeah, I didn't like how it was done in Secrets of Grindia because it was like... If you weren't a melee build, that it just literally made the fight come to a halt in order to do anything, and that felt terrible. So it really just depends on, like, clear speed, as I said before. I don't care if they're there, for the most part. This depends on the game style, whether it makes sense. As I said before, it depends on the context. If I'm fighting the boss and the ads at the same time, I don't really care. If I'm in a game where like I have a lot of melee, I don't think I care. If it's a, if it physically won't let me damage the boss until I kill them, that I find annoying. You're wide 
open. Thank you for the follow, DevG1313. I, I also like it when it's almost like the enemies are projectiles for the boss to some extent. Like, if a boss, for example, shoots, like, Medusa heads out, I don't have any issues with that. If it's, like, just quick, low-health destroyables. Nice. Good gold badge. You're doing well, DevG1313. Well, you Dev, I guess for sure. Let's all move on. I already killed everything. Oh yeah, I just don't think, I think, when it comes to Castlevania, I just don't think bosses should be, like, really long drawn-out battles, and I feel like people looking for them to be long drawn-out battles are quote-unquote hard, uh, don't think that fits the series very well. Doing well, thanks, I hope all is well with you, that's not too bad. We're just wrapping up some PSO, chatting about Castlevania a little bit, and just boss design. Like, this boss, for example, shoots out little projectiles that you can delete. I don't know if they count as adds, per se. Like, they can hurt you, and you can kill them. But they're not, like, required to kill to deal with the boss. Stuff like that doesn't bother me. I guess it's where you draw the line between adds and hazards or obstacles. Yeah, I'm hoping with the, the Dawn of Sorrow replay. I'm hoping now that I understand some of the things that are actually good. I think the other thing that gets me too is like from a blind perspective. As someone who hasn't really played the game very much before, I didn't know what crafts were actually worth it, and most of them aren't, <laughs> which feels kind of terrible. Sick hype train for Jupiter. Nice, nice. Yeah, we we're, were talking about him a little earlier. Hey, oh, so you're saying that you're required to fight. Oh, okay, so that's, that's a little different. Um... I don't know, it depends. As I said before, there's other games where, like, potentially you could use them to build meter, so you can use them to just quickly build up a super gauge, for example. It, it depends on the kind of game. Like, I would say if I was playing more of a, like, a Dark Souls that you play, I would not like it. Because I already don't like that game style, but... There are times where it's nice to be able to get stuff like kill, kill boosts, or something easy. I think Hades is a good example where maybe if you didn't have all the bonuses, I wouldn't like it in the Hades fight. But because there's a lot of things that trigger like on enemy kill or like on last enemy killed, it lets you use stuff in your build that would otherwise not be useful in a boss fight. So I actually like it there because the game is built around that as a mechanic. That makes sense. Yeah, we'll be trying out, uh, yeah, Jupiter just put out a video talking about, like, recommended for newer players, and since I have very limited Dawn experience, I would like to see, <laughs> you know, having a little short list of which ones are recommended. Like, I remember, like, he, he talks about Malakota a lot, which is, like, that well, that one's easy to remember, but some of the other ones, like, I remember Guillotiner, I'll remember, you know, Slaughterer, but there's others in there where I'm like, uh, is it worth picking up? Or not knowing whether or not, like, something is required for, like, a better axe. I think that's where, uh, 
having just that little bit of insight would increase, I think, enjoyability. So with the removal of the glyph, sort of, it should be good. Oh, oops. I saw somebody shooting it, and I was like, wait, but I'm shooting it. I'm confused. Apply some buffs. Yes, I'm at max ATP, which is 1145. It's actually pretty high. No worries. Yeah, it's kind of like... My enjoyability of the game would be a lot less when I initially played if I didn't know about the katana tech. Because I do feel like damage falls off really fast in that game. Especially compared to Aria. Like, the power level at the end of Aria, or like a Harmony of Dissonance in casual play, like, it's so much higher than it is in Dawn. Like, not even close. Like, meanwhile, like, Dawn of Sorrow, I have like, maybe 70, 80 attack, because I have like, medium katana, it's not upgraded. Meanwhile, like, Aria, you got Claim, and <laughs> Harmony, I'm basically one-shotting everything. Summons that Hades have on the last fight I could go without. I'm gonna disagree with you there. I think that's one of the few times where it just absolutely makes sense. Especially if you're ones that depend on your build. I think it just makes sense. I don't know if I like all of the enemy types that appear there, but I, I do like it being there. Yeah. Because that's the thing, too, like, I just want to be able to play the game start to finish without, like, diving into the charts. Like, any game that had just has, like, an overly complicated crafting system, it just turns me off immediately. I'm like, listen, <laughs> I'm like, maybe I'll look up a guide later, or I'm just gonna straight up ignore the mechanic. Depends on how integral it is to the system. And unfortunately for Dawn, I think there are some really good weapons in there that are kind of worth getting, but it's also RNG whether you get it. So, not a fan. Compare it to something like Chrono Cross, where I end up with like a million of every material, and I can just craft things pretty freely. That I don't care about. Yeah. But it's like, I'm most of the time I'm not going to play a game a second time. I mean, it's just honest statement like pso is one of the exceptions but like I i'm a one and done i'm not gonna go back to the castlevanias except for like maybe many many years later <clears throat> so unless it's something that makes it unique like if you're doing a randomizer it makes a bit more sense like nah i'm not gonna go back and play a lot of those games that i played growing up no thank you It's like New Game Plus mode on like Tales series, never touched it. I'm like, I like Tales. I think we did, I think honestly on stream was the first time I've ever New Game Plus on like pretty much any game. The closest we've, oh, I guess the other time after that would have been uh, Chrono Trigger briefly to show something off. But we never then just did like a full playthrough after that. Is that Dark Bridge? What the heck was that? I saw this, like, dark laser shot go by me. Got curious and went to see it finished on with the Trident Manic Portail. Ew. Ew. Helvetian. Ew. Oh, it's Dark Meteor. Yeah, you know what it meant. First Dark Souls, the, the game you go back to. I can see that. If people have, like, an actual favorite, I think it makes sense. Oh, I got trolled there super hard. I'm gonna try to revive Hell Cleave, damn. Team is just not reviving players. Team, please don't kill the boss while somebody's dead. I beg of you. Five minutes to finish the last boss. Gross. I 
can't revive Hulk Leave. I'm so far from him. Just like, I'm the lowest level here by far, so it's like, hmm, will I survive? Question mark. But yeah. Most of the time, it's like, I'll just play it once. I think there's a lot of good games to potentially play. I think for games that have like a, a repeatable cycle, like roguelikes, I'm more likely to quote unquote replay it. With Hell Cleave. You know, that's the intent. You just keep going until you beat it. Yeah, just like the style of just kind of playing to completion. I don't like the hard grind anything. If I happen to level while finishing side quests and stuff like that in RPGs, it's fine. Or if I think it's, you know, if it's only going to take a minute or two minutes, uh, maybe I'll do it. I'll, I'll weigh the... What, how much time will I save doing this versus how much time will it take? The cost-benefit analysis. <laughs> right? So it's like, uh... We gotta justify it. Kinda like when I was playing Dawn of Sorrow, where I was like, I had, like, really bad souls, so I'm like... I'm gonna need something. <laughs> I'm gonna need something if I don't want this fight to take forever. So we picked up, like, Guillotiner, for example. I'm like, okay. Now we're going at a decent pace. It was worth the time. But oh man. <laughs> I was gonna say, I don't I'm not sure how much of the chat saw me play through Circle of the Moon. That that game was actually a struggle. <laughs> that was some of the worst card luck I have ever seen. It was just <laughs> it was it was something else. We finished the game, Dev, with three cards. That's all I had the entire game. Nothing dropped. Legit nothing dropped, except for the beginning area. I got three cards, it was, what was it, Mars? And then your first combo you get from the, like, the second room of the game, and that was it. I didn't see a single card for the, rest of the entire playthrough. <laughs> I was like, okay. I see how it is, game. <laughs> It, you know it's bad when I end up with- I ended up with like eight or nine high potions, but zero cards. I'm like, what's happening? Do they exist? Have they been patched out? Now that was- that was pain. I had to learn that final boss for real. I think that started my dislike of uh, RNG drops. <laughs> that right there. Yeah. I actually like the, the combat and movement in it for the most part, but mm, not a fan of the cards. I think the randomizer ended up fixing a lot of... Is your favorite of the advanced collection? Oh, I was gonna say, did you not like any of the other advanced collection? Because it sounds like you didn't play any of them then. I'm just curious. Because I think with that one, I actually liked... I like the warrior mode because it didn't rely off of RNG. Oh, you beat them all? Nice. Because you said drop, so I just assumed you meant you didn't go back to it. Welcome, Sir Frosty. Hope you're doing well. But I think from that standpoint, it was like, I had way more fun with the warrior mode where I didn't have to rely on RNG drops, and I was like, oh. You know, the most I had to go for was like, what was it, the bear gauntlet, or whatever it was, that gave strength. That was like the only grind I did the in the entire run. I was like, oh, I actually had fun with this. But like, the first time I played through, I'm like, nah, I didn't get anything. Are was pure nostalgia bait for me? I had fun with that. I think that I think the game pacing was correct. I felt like it rewarded you for exploring, exploring, and I wish more of the game stuck to that style. Like certain, I think, went a little too extreme with the reward for exploration and casual play. 
where you just end up with the uh, shield Ron and then uh, Dracula shield and you just or Alucard shield and just delete the whole game. Like that that's where it goes too far. Yeah, I just like how the combat felt in Aria 2 over Dawn. I think it's because it, it was more, it was less restrictive, excuse me, it was less restrictive because everything could be backdashed more or less. Good luck, Alvisha. Like, I love doing the backdash slices. And then I was like trying, I was like brute forcing the katana. I'm like, this katana better still have this. And then I, then I found the crouch button and I'm like, oh. Finally. Okay, we're, we're going back to normal. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure if I would like Harmony of Dissonance if I didn't have the, uh, the bug tech going into the game. You could just damage stack your brains out and kill everything. Not sure how I would have felt about it. The boss fights definitely would have taken a while. Get out of here. Uh, even without knowing all the nuance of like the dash whips or whatever, I found it was like super easy to do with Bible, even in unintentional playthroughs. It was like super easy to do. Like the one where you have all the crosses circling you, that was like the easiest. You just charge whip. No, there's no strategy involved. Hmm. Movement was nice. I never got into the alternate mode so much. People wanted me to give uh whatever the other person's name is a try. Maxim, thank you. give it a shot. I'll try to be open more open-minded about it. I think knowing some tech going into it definitely helps with enjoyment. It's like normally when I play games, like I'll play it like some, we'll, we'll say somewhat as intended. <laughs> we'll put that in air quotes. But you know, if I'm playing an action game like East, I will probably try to clip out of bounds just as like a personal challenge without looking anything up. Oh, I missed a photon drop at some point. Oops. Got distracted. Rip photon drop. Must have been in the caves or something. Yeah, like, I'll give an example. Like, I like zipping out of bounds in some games, but I don't really want to do it in Castlevania. I want to experience the game mostly how it's intended. But if there's damage stacking, I'm like, oh yeah, listen, if we're saving time on bosses, that's fine. <laughs> Just like, I I'm okay with that. I I've seen the bosses, we're good. Maybe on first playthrough, maybe I wouldn't do it. Maybe. Oh, this is a theme. Only want some of these. Yeah, it's kind of like... I kind of like the excitement of finding a glitch, but it's like, at the same point, it's like, uh, I don't know. Someone's having fun with the song, for sure. Oh, no. 
I, I was not a fan of Castlevania 64. We're glad you enjoyed it, Dev. <laughs> we'll let you know that is one of two Castlevania games I have never completed. I did start it, though, and I was like, oh no. But hey, no, no, you can like it if you want, it's fine. I understand why people like it, but then I played it. <laughs> and I'm like, hmm. Hmm. I, I did the only thing that was important to do in Castlevania 64, and that was to pass the Nitroglycerin challenge. We got it first try, and that's all that matters. Like, after that, gameplay irrelevant. Come on, ball up. Please die. Damn, didn't die. There we go, only needed one more hit. So sad. I think uh, damage range on my gun made it whiff. Unfortunate. Mm. I'm also just strictly not a fan of platformers, so even though even though it had very consistent physics, I really did not like the physics. I really didn't like it. So I understand if, if people, you know, master the awkwardness between run jumps and walk jumps with its slip and slidiness, that's like whatever. Oh, the camera was horrible. The camera is what made me quit, ultimately. I just I just got tired of it. Like, it, it felt like I was battling an invisible enemy the whole time, and it was the cameraman. He's like, listen, you really want to direct your attention over here. Or are you in the middle of a platforming section? No, no, no. You want to look at this enemy that's near you. Trust me, you you don't need you don't need to be lined up with your jump. Just 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 deal with me replaying with your camera as you jump. I'm sure it'll be fine. Yeah, that that was probably one of the roughest opens to a Castlevania we've ever experienced. I think between the uh not knowing how to leave the first room, and just kind of going like, okay, what do you want me to do? And wasting like four minutes trying to figure out what it wanted. And then almost doing it, and then thinking that it was just me doing the wrong solution, but it was I just missed slightly. That was terrible. <laughs> that, that I wasted so much time in that first room. Because you have to hit like a specific point with one of your abilities. It's like, ugh. And then it and then it leads into the cliff area. I thought the boss in the beginning I think was okay, but the uh, the cliff area where you're like, oh boy, <laughs> oh boy, you're scaling the cliff. Those jumps were, hmm. Uh, that sent the tone and precedent I think for the game for me. I was like, okay, it's gonna be one of those playthroughs. For those that didn't see it when we later got to the. Uh, the bell tower is like one of the first areas you're climbing up a, st a spiral staircase and i go to make a jump between broken segments of the stairs and this little tiny bat comes down and boops me for like no damage but then it knocks me off the platform and i die of all damage i'm like oh boy <laughs> we are we are in for a rough time go over to tiggy Oh my gosh. <laughs> it's just like, sometimes I would like just, I would run for like half a step when I'm just trying to walk. And I'm like, oh, and then I just get the completely wrong jump angle. So painful. It's like, it's just like, man. So yeah, it definitely needed you to be very stern with it and very strict while also like babysitting the camera. And I'm like, I could do one of those two things. I just found I could not do both. I just gave up. I think we stopped somewhere around Wizard Tower. I remember getting into a room where there were, like, guns on different platforms, but then the camera wouldn't look at what was shooting at me. And then I would go to jump across the gap, and then I would get hit by something because I couldn't see it. And I was like, man, I'm so done. <laughs> I'm just like, no, thank you.
Yeah, I agree, definitely. The cameraman was the real ultimate evil. Dracula is very tame in comparison. Ooh, I actually land the sacrifice there, that's huge. I got short cycled though, that sucks. So anyway, we'll do one more after this, and then we'll we'll take a break. For the night. Funniest thing in the game is jumping, spamming upstairs, and inclined, skipping up the stairs to feel the flowers. Yeah, there, there, there were certainly uh, interesting moments with the game's physics. Oh, we didn't get the item. Unfortunate. Oh well. I was gonna say, I think that summarizes the event in a nutshell. No items for party. Brownie face. Should level next run at least. Wait, how am I doing in terms of items? And look recently. Really, I'm back up to max. I picked up that many. I heavenly resist. I shall not be picking you up. Okay, last run. Tan tangent from Castlevania briefly. Oh my gosh, I was playing through uh, Lost Judgment off screen. Oh my gosh. That bonus boss was something. That, that boss had some of my least favorite mechanics of all time. I thought it was like... Like, wow, it's like they designed a boss for me to just absolutely hate it. <laughs> just like... Oh my gosh. It was, um... And normally in those games, it's kind of like a... If you've not really played it before, it's kind of like a beat-em-up. You have, like, stance swapping and lost judgment. But unfortunately, uh, they decided that... They really wanted to give the boss, like, an insane amount of super armor. To the point where, like, your hits just literally bounce off them, like, 80% of the fight. And then they summon RC remote cars that have bombs, and they also summon lasers from the sky. And if at any point you get knocked down, they heal. They heal, like, entire life bars. The Wii run? No, 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 no. Uh, like a Yakuza spinoff. I don't think it came out on Wii. Was oof. Yeah, that fun that bonus boss was actually horrendous. I was like, we're in a stalemate. He can't kill me, but he keeps healing and wasting my time. Let me just leave and go find what item it wants me to use. So unfortunate. I actually had a lot of fun with the bonus bosses in those games, just not definitely not that one. Like this isn't a game. Yeah, it got better once I literally explored every shop and found what items I think it wanted me to use. Like, okay, it's not as bad, but it just wasn't really satisfying after that. So, yeah, I don't know. Maybe one day we'll do a Yakuza game on stream, but they're very hard to stream due to, uh... We'll, we'll say questionable, <laughs> questionable side content. Not exactly stream friendly. Combat in it is super good. I do miss those. Very cutscene heavy, agreed. I was wondering if like a story only playthrough would make sense. But a lot of the game's fun comes from the side content. Some of it is fine to stream. Others, I'm like, hmm. Rather not.
Rip Dragon Boss. You should level me, right? Yes. <clears throat> yeah, sadly I haven't really seen anything that kind of fills the gap. I mean, a story recap every stream sounds dreadful. Oh, no, no, no. We're, we're not story recapping if we play that game. You you commit if you're in the stream. And actually, the funny thing is if you play Yakuza, it recaps the story anyway every chapter. So I'm like, I don't have to worry about that. It goes previ previously on dot dot dot, and it just gives you a synopsis. It's, it's actually not that bad. And if I'm doing story, most... Most of the chapters are like between like two and four hours long, maybe a little less, depending on uh, how fast you go through the combat. That's not the worst thing ever. It'd still be like a 30-40 hour playthrough, don't get me wrong, but it would definitely be very interesting trying to beat the game without all the intended mechanics. Because the game 100% expects you to... Uh, grind out a little bit for uh, side content. Yeah, a couple of those games I've beaten on highest difficulty setting. So I'm like, I know I'm used to it, but I haven't done like a qu equivalency of like a low percent run. Oh, oops, everybody's not here. Damn, no invincibility trigger. Game doesn't like me. Oh well, I tried. Yeah, we like to play RPGs on stream. This is just kind of like the playing with chat kind of days. Yeah, I don't mind like a decent challenge. It just depends on like how they make it challenging, really. So I like, you know, if I'm playing something like uh, Senkoku Pissarro, like a Dynasty Warrior equivalency game, if I happen to become overpowered, it's nice to be able to bump up the game to make it better. Also, help leave. I'm thinking of you with the drop that just happened. Just casual ad slot. <laughs> I forgot you could get them from boxes in there. It's kind of funny. Yeah, I was about to ask, because you said you go back and play Dark Souls, and I'm like, don't have it to play hard mode plays Dark Souls. But I guess it's not too hard once you get used to it. You get into the familiar groove, as it were. Yeah, I usually just prefer not to have games that are, like, ultra-punishing on death. I want to be able to learn a boss. You know, I don't think necessarily I should steamroll every time. But I like that if I'm paying attention, I should have a really good chance of beating it first try. But only through, like, actual skillful dodging and stuff, like, not not like a face tank. Use Wayhander and Claymore and Dark Souls easy. I've never played. Yeah. Because there's a difference between, like, that and then, like, the intensity and speed of something ridiculous, like Secrets of Grindia. Where I think the game just became too fast for me to enjoy in a casual sense. Where it's like you start off by fighting an enemy with like three or four basic melee attacks. And you're like, okay, you know, I can learn to dodge this. And by the end, you're literally dodging bullet hell patterns. And I'm like, what happened to the game <laughs> that I started playing? When, when did this become literal bullet hell? I don't understand what happened. Like, hmm. And it's like, oh, are you getting used to the bullet hell? Well, why don't you do bullet hell with ads and also this? And I'm like, uh, um... Or not. Yeah, I'm not a fan of bullet hell. I'm like, listen, my reactions are okay. They're, they're nothing to write home about. I like being able to bring, like, intelligent decisions into what I'm doing, so, like, I can, you know, prep for a battle, or I can do, like, game mechanics that are technically complicated, but not necessarily heavy in execution. It's more, like, 
knowledge check in some ways. But, mmm. Dodging like hundreds of things on screen are not my favorite. I think the closest I'll come to playing a uh, bullet hell on game, besides from unintentionally secret to Grindia, probably be like G Darius. I did actually like that series. I think it was like the right level of difficulty for me for that kind of game. Where like you had an ability that could negate. Oh, see, that's how I killed it. Yeah, so I think I got RNG'd, unfortunately, earlier. Sucks. Uh, but yeah, I like the ability where there's, like, some kind of mechanic to potentially deal with it. Like, in G Darius, for example, you can absorb enemy attacks and then shoot out a massive laser, which can stop certain bullet hell sections of the game and actually power up your shots. So I like that there was kind of, like, a way to deal with it. Like, you actually had a counter to it. Um, but not a lot of games do that. They're just like, yeah, just deal with, like, the, the pretty colors for, like, two minutes. You know what? I've been meaning to try Enter the Gungeon. I got it as a gift. I should probably try it at some point in private to see if I'm any good at it. If I'm not good, I'm not going to bother streaming. Yeah, that's been sitting there for a while. Oh, YouTube. YouTube troll one. Yeah, like, I, I felt in terms of, like, platforming and difficulty of game, I think, like... I'm gonna say Rogue Dun Rogue Legacy was probably, like, about as far as I wanted to go in the combination of platforming and dodging bullets. Yeah, I mostly had fun with Rogue Legacy. I don't think I ever played the bonus bosses on stream because I didn't like them as much, but I, I beat the core game on stream. I think I did okay. You know, I think it was I think it was under 20 lives, I think. And some of them were very purposeful on not playing with the gimmick, just to be very clear. Like, it's like, oh, it's sepia tone and screens upside down. I'm just like, I'm going right in the spike pit. <laughs> just be, I'll be real with you. I'm not doing this challenge. I don't like it. You know, I'm just... I'm willing to try some things. That is not one of them. So, hopefully Rogue Legacy 2 does not flip my screen. I would appreciate it if it did not do that. Yeah, exactly. I'm like, you know, I'll play Warrior. I'll play, like, a Mage. I don't, I don't mind, like, playing, you know, switching my style based on what's available. You know, I don't have to be, like, the most broken class every time I go in, but, like... Some of those challenges. Hmm... Yeah, the other one that ended up getting me killed a couple times was the one where you see fake enemies. And, like, I'm, like, platforming to dodge things that aren't there, and I'm like, damn. You got me. There we go. Simple shots. Yeah, I, I think the other key feature, too, is, like, if the game is going to punish me by making me start over from the beginning, which is, you know, pretty harsh punishment uh, in terms of, like, gameplay loops, at least give me a sense that, like, I can become a lot stronger. And, you know, roguelikes tend to do that pretty well, where you start off feeling like your character feels a little stiff, you don't feel like you do a lot of damage, you can't take a lot of hits, and then, like, you slowly get new abilities. You're like, oh, okay, I'm starting to have fun with it. But... Even though I did eventually end up enjoying Hades, don't do it like Hades, where things are locked behind dialogue sequences. That was really bad. I have a feeling if we ever play Hades 2 on stream, I'm gonna get trolled harder. Oh, by the way, chat, we are gonna get revenge on Hades. We will see if I can finally unlock one of the abilities. I'm not sure how much you know about the game, DevG, but oh my gosh, Hades was, uh... the ultimate troll to me. I would like you to know, I beat the highest challenge on the achievements, where it's like the 25 heat or whatever. I still can't get basic things to unlock in that game. It's like actually astounding. 
like, I'm like, I got the true ending and I still don't have all the companions. How? I don't understand. Please let me progress. <laughs> Please stop giving me side quests and actually give me the thing needed for the achievement. Yeah, Hades 1 is a lot of fun, but I'm going to be honest with you. Until I learn how to get the upgrades, like specifically the uh, weapon upgrades, I didn't like it as much. And then it was like, oh, I can't get the upgrades until I buy literally every weapon, even though I don't want those weapons. That's unfortunate. I wish it unlocked in a different way, but okay. Yeah, we beat the game in like... 12 tries, I think? It didn't take too, too long. We came really close on the 6th try. But, uh, it, it locked away a mechanic, and then I got very upset at the game. <laughs> <laughs> Where it was like, oh, there's supers in this game? That would have let me win on the, on, the, on the sixth run. Oh well. Whatever. So Hades 1, Hades 1, I would say, it takes a little bit, but around the time I unlocked Double Dash and Hermes started coming up more consistently, I had a lot of fun with the game. And I like that you could kind of experiment with builds, so even if you don't like look anything up, it's, it's kind of nice to see, like, oh, I found a new duo power, or oh, I found this, or oh, I didn't know it countered like this. I felt like I had a lot of moments in the game, and I felt like from that standpoint, it was a uh, pretty well put together. And at some point, I agree. I, I do want to try Rogue Legacy, too. I'm just worried about difficulty. It, it walks a fine tightrope of whether or not I would like it. Some games can go a little too far, and I would feel bad if I started playing it, and then it was just like, guys, I'm, I'm not gonna finish the game. <laughs> I feel like I'm not into it. I try not to play games that I can't finish on stream. Which is why, at some point, we will go back to Rogue Legacy. Or not Rogue Legacy. Uh, Rogue Galaxy, and beat that game. That RPG was the biggest troll of all time. That final boss is baffling decisions, the, the game. <laughs> But anyway, we're wrapping up our stream here. I think in terms of the PSO event, I don't know if I'll be on tomorrow, other than maybe a couple hours. If the event ends by tomorrow, like let's say it ends at 6pm on Sunday, uh, I will not be doing a bonus stream in the evening. Otherwise, chat, I don't really have too much else to say. We didn't really find anything today, but hey, we got some levels, we played with chat. So let's go ahead and say goodbye to YouTube, and we'll do a little bit of a talk after this. So with that, I'd just like to say thank you for watching, and uh, hope to see you again in the next part, if it exists.